Oh fuck, there's a lot of people. Oh fuck, there's a lot of people. Oh. He's purple shirt, I'm red. Perfect. Big bucks and Irish chant. Oh, it's a zombie horse, but he's not hostile. I can ride the zombie horse! No! Alrighty. <clears throat> Afternoon, evening, whatever it may be. How y'all doing? Yeah, like, huh? Sure. It's very clear they're like, hey, you want, you know, somebody from the Brotherhood who's got the big bag from the show? There you go. Okay, I'll take a freebie, whatever. Lunchbox? Sure. Alrighty. Uh. Let's get some dailies down on the way, then we'll get some perma underway. How y'all doing? Hope y'all had a uh, a good week. Look at that timing. The question is, do I need to actually do it? Weekly, yeah, we still need one more. Okay, cool. Yeah, I did most of my weekly stuff off stream, obviously. 
Uh, but I can just get the rest of it done on my perma. Very easy. So we'll definitely kill some mole men today. Let's see. Scrap money. Easy. Scrap steel. Easy. Level up. Easy. Kill mole miner. Easy. Drink another pill. Yep. Destroy robots. Easy. Oh man, this is beautiful. I don't have to fucking think about this daily. Beautiful. <clears throat> so, how y'all doing, chat? I'm the last character. Uh, he died basically at the end of the stream. You can figure that one out. There's a clip of it as well. I've only played for like five minutes or so of the next character. And then I watched the trailer and that was it. But this isn't my perma character. This is my main character. Because I'm just going to do the... Uh, um, I'm just going to do the one of the weeklies real quick here. Because I don't think I'll be taking my character over here. Because I saw on Shroud stream. Because uh, he's been playing this. Because he's on the follow hype again. Uh, I saw him and his homies play this the other day. When there's like a whole group of them on this private server that he was posting. Because uh, of Fallout first, you know. And uh, they were all like at least 25, I want to say, NPCs. And then some at near the end wave, there are 40s. So, uh, yeah, fuck that. I'm good. I'm good. I want to actually see what this new character gets as far as a, uh, you know. Um, words. I can't speak right now. I'm fucking still waking up. I want to see what this character gets as far as a uh, random roll, you know? Someone's gotta get the last one, right? Anywho. Uh, did I like the show? I did. I'm gonna try and not talk about it too much. I'm sure I'm going to. I'll do like a full review-ish later once more people have shown up. I'm sure I'm gonna get that question a lot today. But I'm not gonna spoil it anyways in my review. But yeah, I wanna try and talk, like, save that for a little bit. And then I'll fucking talk about it. Once each of the and then uh, I might say fuck it and Go even cut that up into like a YouTube video. We'll see. I release the dust it's gonna be pretty minimal work though. Into the air. But I'm still waking up right now. Ah yes, the flames of our pyres ignite the moth dust. It offers enlightenment, however brief it may be. Breathe, children. But Breathe. I want to try. Actually, uh. See the world now make it a, even if it's a short YouTube eyes. video, I just want to try and see if I can actually talk about it long enough to make an actual Let video about it. And flames and fumes. But yeah, I love it. Feel you. Let it soak into your throats. Let it show you. Definitely got a lot to say about it, for sure. But prepare yourselves for the heretic G1 will be enraged by this vision. <laughs> the reality of our wise one will send them into a frenzy. Frenzy. You must protect our sacred lights, the fires, from those wretched fiends. Without the fire's glow, our guest may refuse our invitation. The Dean Ones approach the church. Slay them, children. Offer no quarter. You've only watched two episodes? See? Right there. I didn't expect everybody to even have watched it yet, so there's no way I'm talking spoilers. No matter its shape, man or beast, these twisted Like, it's only been out for like... What? It's 
24 plus another six, nine. So it's been out 33 hours right now. Yeah, there ain't no way. Uh, everyone's watched it all. So I'm not gonna talk spoilers, but I will talk about it later. Headed toward the waterside fire, children. You must protect it. Guess I'll be one of the people who stays over here. Please Was the church fire actually taking damage to that? From all sides. Leave no fire and dogs. Leave no heretic left standing. Yeah, marathon. Uh, I did two the first night, and then it was already like fucking 8 p.m. or so. So I called it. Shit, I forgot to get him live. Oops, I should probably do that, huh? When we must invite him to us to show him. <laughs> Why, Mothman? You have accepted our invitation. We are insects before your intellect. Doesn't they finish it up already, it looks like? Allow the wise one to Quickly. gaze upon you. Bad. Cool. Bad We're done. His infinite Let's wisdom. go sell the shit off. And call it a day. Yeah, Goggins is pretty good. I feel like the first time I saw him was on Sons of Anarchy, maybe? I don't know if that was him. I might be thinking of somebody else. I'm trying to remember what the first thing I saw him is. I've definitely seen him in some shit, though. Let's see. IMDB. I think it was Sons Anarchy. He's in the shield. Okay. Justified. That's what it was. I definitely remember from Justified. Okay. Remember, it was definitely one of those early fucking 10 era fucking shows. I don't think he was in Sons Anarchy. No. I don't think so. Oh no, he was in something anarchy. He was in for only six episodes, it looks like. But he was in there. Okay. No, I guess it's where I saw him. Okay. Cool. Anyways. Let's get rid of some Garbo. Cool. All right. And with that, uh, weekly's out of the way. Let's get on back. Wait, hang on. Yeah, complete gold star daily challenges, which we'll hit today. Cool. All right. Get out of here.
back to the Parma. Yeah, I think he did a fucking great job. <sighs> this is not... I just logged in and out. Dummy. I gotta swap to... Latest Perma. There we go. Okay. Alt tech survival backpack. The question is, is that a Oh, no, it's probably right here, isn't it? Yep, small backpack. There it is. Cool, all right. Okay, so they just gave me the, the skin, which is that right there. All right, cool. So, fresh character. Um, guess we're off. Probably gonna see new people all the damn time. Yeah, level 10. It's a high level, helping out a level one. Yep. Yep, level 20. Yeah, apparently the game is uh, level 19. 25. Yeah, apparently the, whatchamacallit. Do I bother getting my shelter up and running? Um, we can make the run to start the day. That's fine. <sighs> Fuck, sorry, I'm so wake it up, man. Overseer's log, south of Vault 76. Uh, Overseer's log. Um. Yeah, so apparently uh, the game's free on, uh, just free. Just right now, there's like a week trial after uh, the TV show, which makes sense, of course. Um. Man, there's a lot of news right now, actually, about Fallout. Like, the game's free right now. Uh, it's on top of that, uh, it's free, like, it's free for the next week, but it's just straight up free if you have Amazon Prime. Um, because they give out a free copy. And I figured that out, because I actually showed up, I think, a day or two ago. Uh, and yeah, I think I'm going to use that as a Mule account, honestly, so I can transfer fucking, like, plans from my Perma character to, uh... Fucking, uh... Might be old that I can get back. So, it'll be, it'll be good to have that, you know? That way we don't have to wait for people. If, uh, you know, it happens. Not that I get good plans I want to transfer, but it does happen. Okay. Well, occasionally. Fuck, I'm tired. Sorry. I didn't get much sleep. Um, but yeah, it's like, you know, uh, they fucking announced the Fallout 4 next-gen update finally, which I still don't think is gonna be that big of a deal, but it, the timing they, uh, have announced it for is unfortunate, because it's, like, two days after Fallout London. So, 
I don't know if that's going to break Fallout London. I really don't. And I wanted to fucking kill. Ah, shit. I wanted to give Fallout London more time than just two days, you know? That's the problem, right? Uh, so it's like, do I try and burn through London in like a couple days and then like Well, and then just like if I have anything left to finish then I hope that the next gen update doesn't fuck it or do I just I don't know because I feel like that's gonna break a lot of shit, you know, I really feel like it is I, I would hope Bethesda's been like in talks with them like, hey, here's uh, here, here's massive NDA, so you can't fucking say a thing, but we're going to give you the build f like a week or two early, you know, so uh, you guys can fucking fix your mod for it. I highly doubt they would, though. I mean, it's, I think they've actually hired a couple people off of the team to work at Bethesda, so that's cool, right? And I think it's definitely contributed to some of the delays over the year. This is... Because I'm pretty sure it was supposed to come out uh, that's during uh, when Starfield came, Starfield came out last year. But Starfield pushed it out to like another month, I think. But then here we are, what, six plus months later? No uh, London yet, you know? London's a modern update. Fallout London's a giant mod but made by the community. Uh, there's no way Bethesda would ever do anything not in the US, I'm pretty sure. Because the whole, the whole thing about Fault is, and the show definitely reinforces that? I don't know. I'm trying to, I don't know. Uh, it just, it seems like the whole theme of it is like, hey, it, Fallout's about the shelters, you know? And, uh, the war, you know, America after the war. It's not about other countries after the war. Now, I've talked about this in the past. I think it'd be cool to, like, see, like, Anchorage and, like, some other shit, you know? But I don't think they, they'd ever do, like, an entire game in... Uh, anywhere but America, right? Just because, like, again, uh, vault -Tec's like an American corporation. I don't think they're worldwide, you know? And, like, all the stuff they, like, absorb or work with, you know? I just don't think that, uh... Yeah, Fallout London's very much a, a mod project, but it's, like, a giant, complete, like, overhaul. Like, it adds in... so many... or it adds, like, it adds a whole new location and a ton of story. It says, like, I think 20 hours of story? I don't know. Maybe that's like 20 hours for the entire experience. I have no idea. It looks cool, and they've been working on it for a long time. But yeah, it's one of those like giant mod packs. A giant mod, I guess. Maybe it's a single mod, I don't know. But um, yeah, they've been work working on it a while, so. It's a community made, like, whole new Fallout experience built on 4, right? So. The problem is, is, is I'm pretty sure from what I was Googling. Fallout London comes out the 23rd, and the next gen update comes out on the 25th. So it's like, ugh. Like, the 23rd is already a Tuesday, you know? That's not great, because that means I could play it for a day, and then I'm off stream. And then the update comes out on a Thursday while I'm off stream, so then it's like, well, gotta hope they fix it, you know? So it's like, ugh. I don't know. Like, on one hand, I want to be definitely hitting that mod ASAP when it hits, because I feel like that's going to be a big thing to stream. But, uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I mean, plants might get fucked the whole thing anyways. I hope, knock on wood, I actually get a response once the dude wakes up. Uh, that's a different topic and a whole other rant. Uh, you know, you guys remember how I've been talking about, like, the handful of extraction shooters I hope just randomly drop this year because we don't have dates for them yet, and that's the only thing to really look forward to this year besides Star Wars Outlaws, but Outlaws isn't coming out until fucking September now. Um, Grey Zone Warfare? Yeah, uh, the one that actually has, like, a, a no-timer, seemingly, uh, like, a big map, you know, extraction shooter. <clears throat> uh, they're doing a big thing for content creators to stream it, just have full access, uh, for a week. Starting next, uh, on the 18th, starting next week. And it's like, I see them, like, retweeting all these YouTubers or streamers. Been like, hey, I'm going to be playing this for a week, guys. Woo! You know? Um, and uh, I've already, like, replied to their PR dude on Twitter. Like, hey, looking forward to this game. Uh, beforehand. 
and he hadn't reached out. And I'm like, okay, shit. So then I, I reply to like one of his things. I'm like, hey, really be, I'd like to be part of this. Nothing. I replied to like the official like game uh, Twitter that tweeted out. I'm like, hey, I'd like to be part of this. Cause you know, kind of been, been playing this genre for a long time going on, you know? And uh, nothing. And then, then, like, I keep seeing him retweeting stuff, and I'm just like, oh, buddy, he keeps retweeting stuff. What's going on, man? And then I wake up in the middle of the night, and I see... Because I, I wake up occasionally, and I'll check my uh, fucking phone what time it is. And I'll usually put it back down and go back to bed, right? But uh, I woke up, and then I had, like, a missed call, and I was like, who the fuck's calling? And then I tried to check, like, the time and the number, and it was spam, so I was like, whatever. But I was awake, so I was like, okay, so I scrolled through Twitter for, like, a second or two. Oh, you fucking piece of shit. And I saw him reply to... So another one? Jesus, man, these mollies! I saw him reply to Gold Glove. And apparently, Gold Glove got invited, and I'm like, "Well, hang on. Gold Glove's not that much bigger than me anymore, you know." And I'm like, "And there's been smaller creators who have been like tweeted out, so I, it's not even about a size thing." Um, and I'm like, "It's only five hours ago," so I was like, "He's definitely had time to see my tweet, and he didn't like react to it. He didn't like." Email me. I've checked my email, you know. Of course, as I'm awake, I check my phone, and it's like, what new mail? And I'm like, okay, and I'm refreshing, and it's like, sometimes the the YouTube the the mail app that I have that connects to my mail, like I actually email, um, it's all like, it lags out a fair bit because I don't really bother like, I don't have mobile data turned on if I have it connected to my Wi-Fi, right? So the app only updates when I actually like, manually refresh it, and it takes a little bit. Uh, so it was telling me there's one new message, even though there wasn't. I'm like, bro, god damn it. Ooh, look at this camp. And I was like, maybe he emailed me? He's like, nope. So it's like, bro. So eventually I was like, all right, fuck, I'll just DM the dude. Hope for the best here. I don't know. I hope I get access to that, because... Having a, a new extraction shooter to play would be nice. But on top of that, if they're just straight up giving a bunch of creators it for a week, we have to be close to early access. But missing out on that early wave of like, hey, you know, only these people can stream it. Because guess what? A lot of those people are night owls. So me having my fucked up hours as I do, if I'm one of the only people streaming it during those things, it's like, hey, free viewership and aka hopefully growth off of it you know because so as a streamer i gotta do my due diligence on top of that as a gamer i want to play it so it's like oh boy i really hope they fucking uh get back to me damn i didn't realize there's that many cappy statues this is cool bunch of snow globes too i don't want to get that collection going those things Yeah, it's a little annoying. I hope they, uh... I've, I've, been, I've realized now, later, though, is that he probably sent out a bunch of emails throughout the day. Because I feel like the... studio is, like... a European studio, I think, right? So, it's possible they sent out, like, the waves of stuff, and then, like, he kept retweeting them from, like, his phone, and maybe he went home for the day, right? You know? So, uh... Oh, there's another, another player base. Dude, this player base is everywhere. What the hell? Rarely ever do I see this many player bases out this way. Um... This little bobblehead collection. Kinda empty in here. Attic. Okay. Oh, dead gulp. Oh, that's a gulp of rug. Okay. Um... But yeah, I was like, okay, hang on. He maybe sent the emails out and then, like, went home from work, you know? So he kept retweeting the people as they got them and as they were sharing and whatnot, you know? So maybe that was it, right? So maybe I'm on the list. I don't know. Then I woke up again, like, a couple hours later. As I woke up for the stream, I'm like, okay. He only tweeted, like, that Goldie, like, seven hours ago. He probably went to bed. Okay. 
Because I'm like, well, but I went to bed about like seven or eight hours ago, you know? Uh, I'm like, well, yeah, my sleep schedule's fucked up, though. I go to bed mega early for fucking American, for my time zone. So I was like, okay, you know what? Hopefully they hit me up today. Because, man, if I don't get to be part of that, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you all right now, I'm going to be salty for a fucking while while that goes on. Anyways, hopefully we hit that up. Because that would be really fucking nice to hit that up next week. That's for damn sure. But anyways, now that's that's the tentative plan. Hopefully, like I say, tentative plan. I don't even have access, so I, I hope we get access to that next week. Because uh, if that's good enough, and uh, if no one else is streaming late night, you know, like I might have to shift my days off for that, you know. All TV shows are so good. Yep, I'll talk about it later. Uh, I'm I'm gonna have to regurgitate myself a lot of times. I'm sure with that, but like, I'll talk about it later, and then I can just make a YouTube video out of that so that way I can just drop the link in chat and have people watch that if they ask more oh I cursory Oops, sorry. It looks like you... I'll distribute... Before we part. All right. Oh, no sodas. What's even better is the new free creation club content coming to Fallout 4. Yeah. Yeah, I'll talk about that. Well, I guess I can talk about that now. Um, let me pull up the post on that. Fallout. Yeah, surprised we actually got a date for this because uh, they've been holding off for a while. Yeah, the Creation Club content, I don't know about that. Um, we'll see how much is actually there. Alrighty. So yeah, um, free update. Because they we've known about this since like the end of 2022, if I recall. So uh, it got they said like, oh yeah, it'll come out 2023. Like we know end of 2022 is when we there it was announced. They said, oh, it'll come out 23. End of 23 came and was like, hey, 2024. Um, and there's been like you know you could see all the Steam updates hitting it nonstop. So let's see. Uh, it obviously next gen update hitting Series S XS. PlayStation 5, uh, 60 FPS, cool, all right, and increased resolutions, oh man, I don't know what that means, does that mean DLSS, performance and quality mode options, probably not, uh, also free update for PC, experience, blah, 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 blah. widescreen and ultra-wide support, as well as fiction creation kit and quest updates, uh, okay, blah, 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 blah. alongside the existing update, we'll probably purchase every game store, okay, Steam Deck certified, even more content. So if they're making it being able to run on Steam Deck, it, it should have a good performance increase. You would think, right? You would think. Um, off the bat, you can see some, uh, you know, Enclave armor from New Vegas, and then the Tesla cannon, and then the heavy cremator, which is what it's in 76. It makes sense that they would port it basically wholesale from 76, right? Because um, that's what it looks like. Although it says heavy incinerator... Um, and the one in 76 is technically the cremator, 
it's probably the same theme, realistically. It looks pretty damn close. Um, uh, even more content and come to Fallout 4, including free creation club items. Enclave Remnants uh, brings pre work ball. It's a storyline, it says. In this new quest, it says singular quest. Echoes of the past. Can you stop the Enclave spreading? And it ain't strategy. So maybe there's actual, like, Enclave baddies in town. So that's kind of cool, right? Alongside the workshop item, the Enclave uniform, including previously creation club content. Enclave weapon skins, armor. Um... Tesla cannon again, which is from New Vegas, right? Hellfire power armor XO2, and then heavy incinerator. Oh, Hellfire is uh, from '76, actually. Yeah, you got this. Is actually Hellfire, right? Um, they might actually be in New Vegas. I don't know because that helmet looks familiar. Maybe I'm just thinking of the XO2. But uh, Hellfire is stuff you can get from the nuclear winter stuff. At least the cosmetic version of it. Um, so yeah, that's cool, I guess. Enclave uniforms, right? Enclave stuff. So, that's cool. Uh, makeshift weapon pack. Uh, so this looks like a baseball launcher, it says, I think. Baseball launcher, nail gun, and a piggy bank. Nail gun is pretty cool. So they're bringing the New Vegas nail gun over, it looks like. That's pretty nice. Uh, and then fucking a piggy bank launcher, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's weird. Halloween workshop leftover, okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. 38, yeah, so they're just adding a bunch of Halloween decorations, which is all right, whatever. So, I mean, they're adding some new stuff. I don't expect it to be a ton, though, right? Because it's mostly just, like, the quest here. So, I don't know if we'll go back and, like, do... Because the thing is, I was talking about doing a, um, a crowd control run of four, right? So, doing that uh, after the update's settled for a bit... Definitely seems like it could be fun on the menu. Give us some extra stuff to do, right? I don't know how I would do that, though, or what I would do exactly. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what, it, what we end up doing. That's cool, though, that they're doing it right. Because it's all free stuff, you know? Anywho. <clears throat> Before their paid creation club content, yeah, that's so it's free stuff now. That's cool, but again, it's it's just stuff that they have from their other games, you know, brought over. It's not necessarily like new, 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 new stuff. It's new stuff for four, which is cool still to see uh, whatever they do with a modern variant of it. Because the Tesla cannon, I'm be real, Tesla cannon sucks, like wang, in uh. New Vegas. It's not good. It is not good. Like, there's a lot of fun weapons in New Vegas. That is not one of them. But hey, uh, folks, you might want to check your resubs, because Twitch canceled some recently because of uh, a payment processing error or some shit that I saw on Twitter. Supposedly they're rectifying it, but I don't know. You might want to check them. Just FYI. And then on top of that, other people just, like, got canceled. Because of the, uh, upcoming price change. The price change that already went through, as well. They're like, hey, uh, they should have emailed you. But, yeah. Uh, it's, it's stupid. Let's see, are there any 
caps to be gained off of this. Because I could use some caps on this new character. Caps. Ah, oh, it's Fallout first. Not gonna have a smaller amount of caps available for me? I guess not. Alright. I don't want to be on that page too long because uh, I have to turn the music, otherwise, it's probably gonna get muted. Oh man, this character has no AP, dude. I can't sprint for shit. This is awful. Well, we can do, uh... Uh, events on this character at least they're worthwhile doing because uh, We can use legendaries although we haven't gotten the first legendary yet So we don't know what build we're gonna be stuck with this could be awful. We'll see Sunny makes a good hoagie. Let him watch for Fallout 4? Yeah. That's why I was saying it's it's the timing of the next gen update for Fallout 4 is terrible because it's only two days after Fallout London, which is not enough time to burn through it probably. Because when the main game updates, it will almost certainly break all kinds of mods. So, yeah, that's what I was referring to. It'll brick London? Yeah. Well, I don't know about bricked, but it'll definitely have issues. Hope it doesn't break too much. Oh, it will. Oh, it will. Which is really why I'm hoping uh, get access to Grains on Warfare. I mean, besides, you know, I've played a zillion PvP games and extraction shooters, and I've played all the extraction shooters pretty much. Except for the Red Dead one, or Red whatever the fucking... Not Red Dead, but, you know, the Western one. Except for that one's NDA, so I, I couldn't even stream it anyways. Um, like... <sighs> You know, it'd be good to have something to play when London comes out instead, because, uh, yeah. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to play London. Like, I I don't, you know, I don't know. It's, I want to play London, I do. I just, uh, I feel like I would rather wait to play it on the update, you know? Because I don't want to, like, get started and then have it break because of... Uh, the update, you know? It's gonna be really fucking annoying. Bugs are, bugs are part of the experience? Yeah, see, that's whatever. If it's just a bug, it's a bug. Also, did something just fall from the fucking sky? Yep, a dog just fell from the sky. I had to watch the replay. Yeah, you ain't kidding when bu I say bugs are part of the experience. But you know what's not? Just straight up not being able to play it because, like, certain, like, mods don't work, you know? Or, uh, NPCs are gonna be, like, glitching out or whatever because they change, like, an item code or something like that, you know, in the background, and then, therefore, all the mods get overridden, like. 
you know. Compatibility issues are very much a thing. Fine, buddy. Uh -huh. And well, with the fitty. Haven't watched it yet. Just come oh, there he goes. I was about to say. Striker with the 36. I think he is well, dudes. Yep, check the resubs in case Twitch canceled them because they love doing that stuff to me. Uh, Yeah, the show is amazing. The show is so damn good. Um, I guess I could talk about it now. I don't know. I feel like I should wait till later, but uh, I'll talk to the member. <laughs> Uh, where I was today. I guess it's like right when I'm out of 76. Okay, anyways. So, in my opinion, uh, the Fallout show is phenomenal. Uh, I loved it. As a Fallout fan, I was like pausing here and then, like reading terminal entries or like looking at all this stuff, or like anytime a character was like eating something, like, oh, that's sugar bombs! And it was, it was great, man. They nailed uh, the look and the feel. Like, it, you can tell. Uh, that not only the, the, the dudes behind it actually- Oh, Jesus Christ! Sorry, I'm talking while also still, you know, playing 76 in the background. Uh, like, the people behind it were actually, like, fans of Fallout. I feel like there's been plenty of interviews that talk about how, um, uh, the main guy was definitely, like, a big fan of, like, 3 in New Vegas, you know? Like, and you can see that in the show. It's great, man. It's so good. Like, they nail so much, um... If you're a fan of the Fallout, like, franchise in general, you should watch it. Uh, if you're not a fan of the Fallout franchise, uh, it's still a good show in my opinion. It's pretty good. I, I don't know if I would rate it up there with, like, some of my all-time favorites, which I don't can't even think of at the top of my head, but, like, as a Fallout fan, it's amazing. Uh, as a non-Fallout fan, I, I don't know, I don't have, I don't have that brain, so I can't really tell you. It's probably still pretty damn good in my opinion. Uh, let me see what the reviews are for it right now. Um, because I'm curious what the general, uh, public thinks Fallout. Uh, let's see. Season 1. 93% critics with 71 reviews, 85% audience with 250 plus. What's IMDB saying? Eight point seven with eleven K ratings. Yeah, that's pretty high. Uh, I think it's good. I really think it's good. Uh, the show doesn't really. It's it's considered canon, right? So it's not gonna get in the way of anything that you know of from the games. Uh, some stuff that is vaguely mentioned in the games is uh, fleshed out. I'll say again, this is a spoiler-free like review, I guess, if you want to say that. You know, it's not really a review, but you know impressions um it is it's really good uh if you you don't have to have played all the games hell you don't have to play any of the games you can start playing the games after you watch the show uh i i, I loved it like the feel they nailed all the sound effects anytime any of the characters uses a pit boy the outfits were all really damn good like it was it was amazing like uh I did see myself occasionally, they'd uh, whip out like a different gun and be like, ooh, hang on, pause, go to Google, uh, I'm like, I feel like I've seen that one before, and it's like, no, maybe that's an original one for the show, you know, but I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's a West Coast show, it takes place in California, we technically haven't had a fall game in California since like 1 and 2, I think, and I don't know, I didn't play those old ones, um, but, uh, you know, there's a lot of other guns, but the second, like, it happens, I'm like, oh, fucking yes! Like, early on, man, oh my god, I'm not gonna, again, I'm not saying when, but, like, I may or may not have lost my shit when a junk jet made its appearance. Appearances. Uh, I saw, the second I saw this pistol right here, the 10 mil, I was like, oh, fuck yes, dude. Uh, we already knew some stuff was gonna be in. Like, the derpy ARs from Fallout 4 that are just obscenely large, which I guess they kind of make sense when you slap them in with power armor. But then you think back how, how does our character use that in Fallout 4 without a giant exosuit to lift it? Anyways, uh, they, they nail everything, man. The music is phenomenal. It feels like they do a lot of their own stuff. 
um, but on top, like, but it's all in the style of Fallout, like radio that you would expect. They, there are some classics in there. There may have been some. I think a lot of them were re-records, uh, of like re-recordings of different classics. But all in all, like, there's it's so good, man. They nail everything about it. Um, I'm not gonna talk about spoilers at all, like I said earlier. So don't worry about that if you're just getting here while I'm talking about it. But like the the three main characters I feel like are well pretty well done in my opinion um, like yeah I mean I don't I don't <sighs> Lucy and Maximus's characters I don't think I've seen them in anything else I think they did pretty good uh, for like I guess their big debut you know because if I haven't seen them in other stuff I don't know they've probably been in other stuff though but Walton Goggins is amazing man like I've seen him in a bunch of different stuff over the years and he kills it um not to say that you know the other characters are bad at all because they're good um but the way all their stories like tie together eventually it's it's really well done the world is wacky apocalypse like you expect from Fallout like there's there's some there's some weird stuff in there um and when they start going into like the vault tech stuff it's whoo man just like seeing live action versions of vaults and like so much of the iconic equipment uh that you expect from the games it is so amazing um there's some throwaway lines that some people might not get straight away but if you play the games like oh man it's so, like the golden rule of the wasteland is that <laughs> will always get distracted by some bullshit like come on man like the second like a, a fusion core shows up in the show it's like oh my god that's rare because you know, they're fucking rare in the games you know like it's so good man like everything about it is just screams fallout the set design i again just seeing like live i've already just i'm, I'm probably regurgitating myself i'm I, as you can tell i fucking loved it man like, I'm all flustered still, cause uh, I just finished it like last night, uh, a little bit before I went to bed so, for the stream right now. And man, it was so good, dude. I just go watch it. Go watch it if you're a fan of Fallout. You're gonna love it probably. I haven't heard anyone talk shit about it. Um, and frankly, if they are, they might be just nitpicking or people who just want to go against the grain, cause that's what people love to do. Anything that's popular, they're gonna, they're not gonna like it, you know. Um, I think it was amazing. If you're not a fan of Fallout yet. Uh, but you're looking at it it's probably a pretty good show as is i like i said you know i <laughs> I, I don't have uh the viewpoint to look at it as somebody who hasn't played fallout but it's it's pretty good in my opinion um and hey a bunch of the fallout games are free or super cheap right now you know so i don't know anyways apparently took out a lot of the stuff from the show to avoid spoilers for a next fallout game apparently yeah i don't know about that one uh i think it was really good how they worked with Todd Howard to like work with like destinations where they're thinking about doing stuff, you know? Um, I've seen like the interview you're referring to. Um, and I don't think uh, what we saw really has to do with the next fall game, but I love that we have so much like synergy going on between it all right now. Cause like the show clearly is doing well. I mean, maybe it's cause I just follow like all the follow accounts, you know, and all that sh shit but like man the fact that they got so many again it's amazon right which again is twitch so you know it's, it makes sense that they would want to pimp out their show and have a handful of the big streamers show off the first episode to get people to you know go subscribe to amazon prime you know to watch it but the fact that it seems like thus far universally well received is so good because hopefully that means we get a bunch of people who play the games now as a result uh, of either 76 being free for a week or you know picking up 76 or all the various games from prime or the new anthology because they just put out a big fall anthology recently right um putting all that out hopefully like the fall hype keeps going for a little bit and microsoft which owns bethesda at this point uh is like yeah uh there's a lot of follow hype right now we should definitely capitalize on this because there were rumors a while back of a fallout 4 spinoff right because if you're not aware, New Vegas is a three spinoff, right? So, and four, uh, obviously 76 is kind of a spinoff, but it's like the multiplayer component of four that was spun off into its own game. So having like an actual like single player game of it, man, Fallout 4 New Vegas. I mean, I'm just saying that'd be kind of cool, you know? Um, the show is amazing. Like they leave space for a second season. Um, but on top of that, like they leave space for games to pick up and like, you know, oh, it's just, there's, it's so good. Just go watch it. Just go watch it. 
Okay. When I go into the church is when I guess I'll end that video. I don't know. I'll, if, I'll decide if I want to actually cut that later, but... I loved it. It was so good, man. Overseer's Log, town of Flatwood. My god. I'm not a massive Fall fan, but currently downloading 76 is free. Can confirm show is very fun at, uh, with the wife and no, who, with no idea, liked it as well. There you go. See? Um, in the middle of that, True Tune Trader, True Tune Trader, I'm sorry, I messed up your name, came with the Prime. Appreciate you. Oh, thank you, dude. But yeah, I, I thought the show was great. I loved it, man. It was so good. Uh, I I'm honestly kind of bummed out that it's over already for me. Uh... Because now we gotta wait, you know? Ooh, farm hands. Might as well get this one done. Only three episodes in, enjoying it so far. Yeah, I man, I just I, I can't gush about that show enough. It's so good. Like, there's a lot of stuff I want to talk about, but again, it'll probably be like at least a week before I do that because of spoilers for people. Good man. Fallout 4 season pass uh, for 20 bucks. I'll probably need it for London. Uh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. Probably. I feel like you could find that information on their website. I would I would just like Google Fallout London and find the website and see if it's required. Or just like Google Fallout 4 London, uh, Fallout 4 London season pass. Because I don't know if that's going to be required. It probably will be. I feel like most big... DLCs and like Wabajack packs just kind of assume people have a Jesus Christ, how many are here? Okay, I just leveled up, thank god. That level up saved my HP. Oh, okay, we're getting hit. Thought I was getting melee for a second there. God, my fucking accuracy is so bad. Your HP is so low early on. Ooh, man. How many stims do I even have? Okay, okay that's a decent amount for a starter. Okay. I did see laser. Do I have a laser? No. Sag. Okay, 44 with the scope, though. That's pretty good. I'll use that as a secondary. I think it's all I really got, though. Looks like a new character. Gee, what gave it away? Was it using a, the 10 mil that's not suppressed? Was it getting my ass whipped by level 6s? Was it being back in the starter area? 
yeah. Uh, you can watch it in the last stream, or someone's got a clip of it, probably. It, uh, yeah. Stuff happened. Oh, what restrictions do we have on this one? This one is the first legendary I get, is my build. It's a random build. Hence the title of the stream. Yeah, let me, uh, da -da 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 -da, roulette. We rolled, uh, we rolled green. So, the first random Automated weapon. Message. The forest watch detects all supervisors down. Yeah. Good job. It's not really. A, I mean, it it'll it, it could make the run interesting. We technically got an uh a uh we technically got a uh a vanilla run as the first like spin, which was not great. Needs all the DLCs. Well, there you go. Hashtag blame theorem. Yeah, sure we'll go with that. I mean, it's a solid plan, you know, it's tried and true. Detecting potential composting, Detecting target. Potential composting target. Detecting potential composting target. Scanning for fertilizer. Oh, hello! Next fall game is gonna have SMG, I think. What, based upon one of the ones you saw on the show? Man, I could see a lot of those guns coming over to 76 as it is. I mean, they already put out uh, a companion uh, that you get for free right now. Uh, who is basically like the Brotherhood Steel character, right? Because he's got like the same outfit as well as like the his camp item. Because if you're not aware how like uh, companions work in 76, they don't follow you around like normal games. They just kind of chill in your camp and usually give you quests and give you like random dialogue and whatnot, you know, or go through their dialogue tree and whatnot. Some of the the bigger companions have like actual quests, so he's like a light companion, whoever they added. But uh, you know, they added in uh, their you know like hey. Is your brotherhood companion from the show, kind of, but not really, because obviously it's 200 years before the show. You know, that's what it take. <laughs> Excuse me, when this takes place, right? They added in, um, yeah, Fall First. You can get the ghoul's outfit, you know, like. Brotherhood Initiate Bundle. What? He's free. Why? Oh, I guess they, I guess they just use the icon. Flatland Shelter. Oh, that's cool. I didn't realize that was a thing. Huh. Anyways, uh, yeah, like they also made it so the Vault 33 suit is available again, you know? So it's like, if you want to cosplay any of the characters from the show, you can do it. They're, they're all, it's all in now, you know? The, the Vault suit's available for like the next month or so for free as well. Overseers, let's call these personal journals. Yeah, I'm more interested in the various pistols because there's a couple different ones. I'll just say, you know, the the gunslinger pistol as well as the Brotherhood Steel one, because uh, none of those are in yet. I'm kind of disappointed though. Minor spoiler chat. It's it's not really spoiler, okay? Minor spoiler, just minor spoiler, okay? Don't don't freak out, okay? But uh, I'm kind of surprised I didn't see any lasers fire off, you know? I think you only see like one in the show to begin with, which is really annoying. And it doesn't get fired. Not on the screen at least. I, there may hit. I don't know. It's... Uh, I don't... Yeah, I don't think we... I don't know. I'm freaking out. Yeah, sorry. Get fucked. <laughs> you thought there'd be no spoilers. I lured you in with a false sense of security before I could spoil that. Hey man, there's always season two, right? 
No lasers? I mean, they're lasers, right? But these don't get shot off. That's what I, I kind of wanted to see what they would do, you know? I wanted to see, like, would they go Star Wars lasers or... I don't know. It was still amazing. I fucking loved it. But, uh, the lack of lasers getting shot off every couple of seconds. I was like, you know? Could have been 10 out of 10. That's like 9.5, you know? No, uh, <laughs> it would be cool to see that, you know? Because uh, lasers are very much a, a big part of the games. One wrong with episode two, maybe thinking, I don't know. Listen, man, it's all a blur, okay? I, I, been, I went through it real fast, you know? Finished it all in under 24 hours. All right, I can't remember all of it. I'm assuming you mean a, a looting segment. I mean, spoiler, there's a lot of that, so I don't, I'm not sure that that's the episode two version you're talking about, but yeah. Yeah, it, just, it was just good, man. I loved it. Like, fuck. Yeah, I don't. I don't think uh, the gunslingers one is, uh, you know, that gun. It, it's. It does not look like it at all. Like the rounds look big enough that they're shooting like shotgun slugs, you know. I'm fucking wrong clicking the whole goddamn time here. We got no legendary yet. Probably not, right? Have not. The build continues. Oh, yeah, I saw that as well. <laughs> okay. I mean, you know. Is 7-6 better than 4? Uh, they're different games, man. Four is a single player experience from the ground up. 76 is like, hey, we're making multiplayer for Fallout 4. Like, it was literally developed, they were making a multiplayer component for Fallout 4, and then eventually they're like, hey, let's spin it off into its own thing and turn it into like a faux MMO live service thing, you know? There's still good story to be had here. There's definitely great lore to be explored. Amazing POIs to look through and shit. The map's four times the size of Fallout 4, because, like, you know, a quarter of this is Fallout 4, essentially, right? You know? Like, it's really good. I could go up to Mothman Equinox. It's probably a bad idea, though. We're not going to do that. You know what? Let's not die. I'm only level 6. <laughs> um, That'd be a way to get my legendary, though. Figure out for the character what we're doing. But now we're not going to. Um, we'll probably find a, a cultist around somewhere. Probably up near Morgantown, I imagine. There's enough, like, random spawns up here. We'll probably get it to either the train yard or the airport. But, uh, yeah, I mean, the 76 is very good and I love it. Uh, but it's just different, you know? Like, if you want to just, like... If you want to just play, like, Fallout with your friends, you can do that easily, right? Uh, it's, it's what it is, you know? It's like, if you liked Fallout 4... Because it's got the gameplay for it. Because it's literally just a multiplayer for essentially, you know. If you wanted to play that with friends, that's what this is, you know. But if you want the big, like, sweeping narrative and changing the world, you know, whatnot. Like, that's that's not what this game's going to be, you know. Because it's still a map that has other people playing on at the same time. Oh, look at people, people. A lot of people gathering there, you know. Player base, you know. Like, player base, player base, people, people. Like, there's... The servers, I think, cap out 24 or 30 people. I think it's 24. Um... But, uh, you know, like, you're, you're not going to be able to, uh, play the game and then, like, pick an ending, you know? And then suddenly, like, a building's gone, you know? Like, the, like that happens in Fallout 4, potentially, you know? Or, or, like, a whole faction disappears. Like, that's not a thing, you know? Or factions disappear. Like, there are choices you can make when you're doing the storyline and stuff, but every, all, like, the, the big storylines that have been added, they all take place, for the most part, 
inside interior buildings, so any choices you make will be then only infected for that like that instance, right? So like your friends can join you for a lot of the questing. Like you can, there's so much questing down the open world. It's not even funny. But when the big story stuff comes in that they've added in a while back, uh, you're gonna be in an instance, right? And so only your team could join you. And I'm not gonna do this right now. We have to do this later. Um. So yeah, you know, like if you want to kill an NPC, you probably can. But you know, you're only gonna see it in that instance, right? That NPC probably doesn't exist outside of the instances as well at that point, you know? You can kill NPCs or, you know, other people in the open world a lot of the time. Sometimes you can't. But, uh, you know, if you can kill them, then they're not that important, right? Yeah. That's what I'm saying, Grumpy. Like, if the thing's sick, like, I want it, you know? I will say, there's definitely a moment I'm just like, okay, that's some bullshit. That's just TV show magic. But then I remember, um, you know, I'm not even going to show the card. Actually, I don't think I have access to the card right now anyways because I'm too low level. But there's a, a literally a perk card for that. And I was like, oh, you know what? No, actually, that's legit. Ooh, look at that suppressor on the first fucking roll, baby. Oh, my God. RNG. Bro. <sighs> We're good, chat. We got a 10 mil suppressor already, and it's thingy mad, which is a fucking armor pen. Oh, bro, we're good. Oh, we got reflex as well. Oh, my God. RM Jesus. It's saving me right now. I love it. Like a waiting emote. Oh boy, we're gonna be waiting, huh? Probably gonna watch the show a few times, being a huge fan myself. Yeah, I'll probably watch it soon too. I have other shows I'm trying to get through right now. So I'm not going to. Because uh, I've been putting off other stuff for a little bit, you know? Like, I need to finish up the season of Tokyo Vice because I'm only like two or three episodes in. And then I'll probably start rewatching Heroes because I kind of started watching that and I got like, mm -hmm. I'm like two episodes in on that. And, uh, you know, I'm like, you know what? Maybe, maybe, I'll, well, I kinda, it's been a long time since I watched that show. So it could be interesting. But I definitely am going to rewatch this for sure. I'm probably gonna pick up other stuff as well. And we're not doing this. Oh, I guess they want me to boil the water. That's fine. But yeah, I, I've put in way more hours to the person who asked. Uh, I've put in way more hours in uh, 76 and 4, but that's because, you know, you can only do so many modded runs. You know? In Fallout 4, right? Before eventually it's like, well, I've kind of been there and done that. So you wait for new mods or you wait for a lot of time to pass. 76 is one of those games where because I'm playing permadeath, I can just kind of play this forever. It's like the fallback game for the stream, you know? And then they put out new content, so then I'll play the new content for a little bit, and maybe it'll give me a little bit of gear to grind for whatever, but then I go back to, you know, playing permadeath again, which is the way to keep me playing this, you know? What I should be doing is first off unboxing. Oh man, unboxing stream, baby, let's go. Concentrated fire. I don't need that. EMT, nope. Gun runner, don't care. Moving target. Traveling pharmacy, we like that. Dippity smell, cool. We get through hiker yet? We cannot. Pharmacy. Traveling pharmacy is what you need, man. It's a it's a big weight reducer, for sure. Alright, boom. 
Dead belly. Probably use some lone wanderer for sure. Chloe looks after me. Uh, running speed She's with a pistol, energy path. speed and sprinting. Um, that's not gonna help me. Diffity. Man, they got some good starter cards. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, now we go lone wanderer. It requires two. So if we pick it, it'll be perfect. I'll be able to use it. And first aid is probably the play right now, honestly. Uh, scrounger would be good. Kind of need that. Kind of need that as well. Through hiker, there we go. Gotta get that. Question is, chat, does anyone know if Moira's in town? Call out 76 Moira. Because if she's here right now, that's not Moira. We don't want Moira. Moira's Fallout 3. Oh my god. What's her fucking name in 76? The one that fucking shows up to. Oh my god. Bro. Uh. The, the one that shows up with the gold bullion plans. Oh my god. How many not remember that? Minerva. Jesus, it's a whole, oh, not the M name. You know what, Moira Minerva? Okay, that's, that's, I'll give myself credit for a little bit. Oh yeah, she's totally in right now, White Springs. Okay, list 20. List 20, what is list 20? Cause if she has one of those backpack plans, I gotta get it. List 20. Okay. <gasps> Grocer's backpack mod, oh, she's got it. Okay, please tell me I have gold I can get on this character. Okay, we might have to go straight to the White Springs chat. Challenges. Uh, season. Okay, let me, let me mute that first. Oop, settings, audio, menu music, so we don't get muted. Be in that menu for a little bit here. We might have 500 bullion we're chilling on. How much does it cost? I don't know what she's charging. I guess we could see. Season. Okay, um... 500 gold bullion. Oh, we can claim it on this character. We can jump the fucking curb and get bullion early. Yes. Okay, we might do that on this perma character. Um, because getting the food thing would be really fucking nice early. Just having that mod, you know. Are there multiple bullions? Is the real question. In case this character dies. I'm not seeing any other bullions on the list. Slow burner. There's another bullion. Wait, that's a fault first only though. We gotta go way down. Okay, there's another free one, but it's so far down the line. Okay. Okay, so we could get there and do that right now. Let's finish up this quest line first. Cost 263. Nice. I could totally get that. Well. Damn it, buddy. Challenges daily. Drink some Nuka Cola, scrap more money, boom, and mole miners. But we gotta kill those. Oh, that's easy, dude. We just got three fine find three nukes today. Like I can do that. Sit down on the couch, sit in the chair. Will not let me do that. Let's see. Get out here and kill some fucking cows before he does. I'll leave the other cow for him just in case he wants to get it. I'll be nice. But I do need some of this meat. First, we don't know how much meat or food or uh, food we have. And you level up so fast now with the double XP going on. Yeah, 
we need to get to the weapon bench though, so I can uh, pimp out this thing. I don't know if I actually have the mods for it. I actually might need to get gunslinger or uh, weaponsmith, I should say. What level do you get weaponsmith? Speaking of, what level is the weaponsmith? Weaponsmith. It is not achievement. Gunsmith. Gunsmith. At level 11. Okay, we're not far away. I'm gonna keep this next card though. <clears throat> Bro, I can spook him out way more. He prob like he's probably actually new. It looks like he's a new player who got Fallout first, right? Because he's got he's only level 21 now, which means he came basically straight down here, you know. And he probably picked a level 20 character, because you can do that, you know? Um, he's probably pretty fucking new, you know? Which, uh... <laughs> I could start doing, like, the Mothman dance or a robot, you know, around him. Just fucking... Just suddenly just bust out and start breakdancing, you know? Like... <laughs> you definitely scare him a little bit. No, he should do is check the top up here. Do that radio tower shit. Get that out of the way real quick, since we're here. As much as uh, I'm crazy hyped about Fallout, it is a little, <laughs> it's a little annoying seeing so many other like big streamers just show up, start streaming the categories, so and now I'm just like, well, fuck. <laughs> now I'm just like, I'm always just like number one in the category. Now I'm what number five right now. I mean, I guess it's, you know, does that make sense? You know, plot five, get it? No, okay. Anyways, uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's like, fuck, man. This was my category. Leave me alone. Nah, I don't care. Hey, if anyone want to do a short stream today and raid me, I'll take it. <laughs> uh, let's see. We need to get the sign down. Quest boom. Oh, no. Broadcast tape issued. Please deposit demo tape. You're still number one for us. Now, okay, shut the fuck up. <laughs> the fuck is that emote? Is that? It's like waving like an inflatable sword. It's like waggling. That's that's an unnerving emote. I don't like that. Like flailing around a sausage or something or like a hot dog. Ah. Uh -uh. Is that from Saints Row 3? No, I don't think that's the dildo sword. I'm pretty sure it wouldn't actually have like a hilt to it. So you can like mouse over the thing and it shows the larger version of the actual emo. It shows like an actual hand with like a sword hilt and everything. I'm pretty sure the one from Saints Row is just like a giant fucking purple one. That's like pretty much it. But watching the small version of that just fucking flop back and forth in chat, like, that's definitely, you know, feels like that's what they're going for with it. I don't know. I think it's what he said. That's why it's a fucking unnerving emo. Like, now. Bad. Wobbly Sword of Chaos. Ah, yes, because everyone knows what the Wobbly Sword of Chaos is. How could I have not known? So silly of me.
Did I get Saints Row for free on Epic? Is it a decent game? Are we talking like one of the older ones or the new ones? Because if we're talking about the new one that came out last year, it's already free on Epic. Oh, that makes it so much funnier that they didn't fucking accept my key request. Not that like I know I'm the hot big streamer. Because I'm not. I'm down. an insignificant fucking pleb, okay? In every aspect. <laughs> but uh Like I applied for a key and they, they denied me. I'm like, what the fuck? And then uh the game came out and it fucking flopped hard <sighs> fucking core, yeah. dude. Like holy shit. Like no one lot. fucking liked it. All the any streamer I saw playing it, it was never more than a single day, if not probably not even the entire stream most likely. It was just like, oof. So, uh, you know, it always feels good when, like, if I ever get denied a key for a game. Because a lot of times they'll just, like, not respond, you know? Or, uh, like, the request will just stay pending. I mean, I don't even know if there's actually a request to, like, be received, you know? Because sometimes a site, like, Keymailer specifically, is a, it's actually a site called Keymailer. Sometimes it'll just put games up there, even though they might not actually have, uh, a, a, like, a, a campaign going on to get keys out to creators um, but if it ever comes back with actual deny that means somebody was actually at least like looking at shit you know we, whether they were you know like hired by the devs or actual devs like working on the back end like on the site like fucking doing that shit it's like bro getting denied for that game and then if doing as terrible as it did was like ah yes good like I feel bad for the devs who fucking spent like years working on any game and it comes out and just doesn't do well because that's just like fuck dude, you know? That sucks. But it does delight me a little when uh, uh, a, a fucking PR person or whatever shuts me down for that and it's like, it's pretty rare, but uh, it's funny. Any permadex one? Yes, we died last stream. Message the new one was free several months back. Oh, no. I like it. Yeah, it might be good now after months and months of like fixes and whatnot, but the fact that they gave it away for free. Yeah, that's funny. Combat boots? Those are not combat boots. Yep, new permanent death run. I died. What new build is this? Read the title of the stream. We don't know. I rolled green on the uh, roulette wheel. Which means the first legendary weapon that is naturally looted, like not a quest reward. Um, either, you know, I think I could do an event and it could be the reward for the event, but if it's an RNG item and not like a named item, then that counts, right? Or if it's something actually loot, you know? Uh, but yeah, if I, uh, you know, the build is determined by the archetype of weapon I loot. So we will find out. Oh, no, yet. Yeah, Climactic. It took me a second to figure out what crack you were smoking. Because I'm like, bro, how am I supposed to decipher the second part of that sentence? And I'm like, okay, I got it. It, it, it did take a second for the gears to fucking start grinding together. As I've never seen Whoa. just You're kidding spelled out that way. But you know? Crane. I'll give you that, you know, full marks for creativity. I think we pick up the extra point of luck. Some scrounger going. So we're gonna level up fast. I want some more fucking. Yeah. I 
Well, to be fair, I have a lot of really shitty dad jokes uh, in my chat. It's not like often that they do come across my desk, but the jokes that do, they're typically of that quality, or they're they're very much dad Great. jokes, you know. Come out, come out like I have a handful are. of people that like anytime they talk in chat, it's usually just via resub message, and it's always like dad jokes. Ukraine, this it. So. Uh, but your name is, uh, Davey. Davey, you said you're gonna help me kill this one, right? Excuse me? How does this jerk know your name? You're working together. What? No! Can't you see they're full of- Come on, bad guy, you got this. He did not get this. Alright, good talk. Sandra 3 is the best one for you. I never played any of them. I don't know. Like, I, I, the old ones didn't look like they were really for me. They might have been fun in, like, co-op shenanigans with your homies, with the, the one or two that had co-op, right? But they're never really for me. The new one looked like it was being a little bit more serious, or at least the art style was a li little more, I don't know, not whatever the original style was, you know? So I was like, oh, yeah, sure. Uh, so I was actually, tr like, looking forward to trying the new one. But, uh, it, I got key denied I think like a day or two after people started streaming I was like okay and then I saw I, the people streaming I'm like oh yeah no I'm good oh, just like the old army huh join up defend yourself See? I can't believe we got a suppressor already on this character. That's so good. I'm gonna be pissed if we don't get a pistol build just because I'm I'm not gonna be able to utilize it for very long. Oh my god, this dude's always on a fucking bench. He's always on the thing that I'm trying to use, dude. I need to get ahead of this guy. <laughs> like, fuck. Well, and that's West of Virginia lumber. You've seen them. Hmm. Well, I wouldn't go. Could try them, but there was, there was also wouldn't be a bad. Yep. But if they got, but probably. Have... But if you haven't, and. Okay. Now we leave that quest. Build a tabletop roleplay game called Fallout Chicago. Yeah. The next uh, D and D campaign we were supposed to do back in the day was supposed to be a Fallout one. It was supposed to be like a nice little homebrew Fallout, but didn't happen. Still disappointed because I really like D and D. But uh, yeah. Fallout Four downloaded now the DLC. <laughs> Getting prepared uh, that far in advance, huh? All right. On the bench, he is not good. Nine years ago, the last time you played it? Oof. Or you mean it came out nine years ago? So it requires Gunsmith 2. Oh, it requires Gunsmith 2 for the suppressor as well. No, we're not going to get to use it. I can call it now, man. Bro, that's annoying. Wait, the circle requires silver? That's weird. Just straight up requires less. We'll get plastic plenty of. 
Oh, that's annoying. All right, well, I guess we're just gonna keep playing, huh? We technically have a bolty. I don't think I'm gonna use it, though. I think I'm just gonna keep using this thing. Ooh, long barrel. Yes. Build all mechanics, roll on a percent talent each skill as the upgrade skills. Damn, nice. Sounds like a lot of work. The question is, did you actually play it with your group? Is the real question. Because if you did, awesome. If not, that's a lot of work for. Uh, <laughs> Not actually doing it. I will say, I don't blame you though. One of the most fun parts of D&D, besides the actual like, campaign, was like, just going through the rule book and like, reading various classes or like, reading all the through the shit for your class and being like, ah, oh, it could be fun to do this or this or this or this, so... I get building it out, even if you didn't end up playing it. Hmm, didn't realize there's a sign, a road. How long, has this road been here the entire time? It probably has, I don't remember that road. Is that bad? That I don't remember that road being there? I adding updates to this game. <laughs> wow, after the TV show, like what? No. Uh, damn, show was real fucking good though, dude. Yeah, I love that this show's completely canon as well, man. Like, it's so good. What up, Suda? How's it going, dude? Seared Tower? What, instead of the Sears Tower? That's funny. Oh, they're Usually more than just one, right? That's why I'm in caution. Is it literally just one chillin'? Let me make some diluteds. Do I have diluteds? Fantastic. Supers. Okay, cool. So let's do your survival. Your diluted and your super. Yeah, I just really hope, man, like, that the TV show doing really well for Amazon, and hopefully it just continues to keep doing well, obviously, because it's only been out nine, two days yet. Um, you know, like, I hope that enough of, like, a player burst happens for 76, as well as all the other games, you know, because 4 is getting a next-gen update, right? Um... And then uh, there's the anthology as well, you know, that's... Ooh, we got a hunting rifle. Let's go. Uh, hopefully between all those that uh, Bethesda's like... Or not Bethesda, Microsoft, who probably makes the bigger decisions, is like, Hey, we're going to greenlight a fucking uh, spinoff, you know? Like, that'd be so good. Ooh, hello. I think we have a... 
I swear I just saw a green or red puff. Like the buff shit. Oh, pale. Yep. Means there's a cultist around here. Legendary feral. Oh, I got denied. Bro, you're kidding me. That one was legendary. But he didn't. It even says legendary, man. What a load of shit. Okay. Oh, no, there's a cultist. No? Maybe? I mean, those guys had the red thing like there was a cultist nearby. Maybe someone else killed the cultist? Weird. Because I'm pretty sure the Mothman Equinox, like, event is still going. Like, sure, every hour it pops up right here, right? You know? But I think also there's random cultists all over the place. And they give, like, the red buff off to the mobs. I don't know what the red buff does. I'm assuming it just makes them pissed off. I don't know. But, uh... I thought that would have given us a legendary. Fork only run? Hey, why don't you go fork yourself, buddy? I love that fork. Fork. Capone's a synth mob super server named all components. Okay, dude. The data on his name is Al Capone. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You're just reaching for a lot of those, but you know, hey, it's, you gotta have something for the uh, characters to start figuring out, so that's cool. This thing's nearly busted already, huh? Moonshine Jamboree. Yeah, no. Followed her. Yeah, I mean, you know, I guess uh, you know, you ain't wrong. That is where a lot of it is. Because there's a cultist somewhere they're fighting. Yep. I think it makes the the red turning into non-red. I think it's what it is. I think it just changes the faction. Oh, hello. He's a two-star. Oh, baby, here it is, chat. Oh, I guess it could be an armor. It could be armor, I guess. Oh, he died. Well, we get the loot anyways. Here goes the build is oh no it's a melee build oh boy more damage attracts below 40% and crit damage you boy okay well fuck man oh. all right well here we go question is, I think I just keep a generic melee so I can go chainsaw if I want to. Although getting up to level 20 and getting a chainsaw won't be hard. It's just a question of like, do I really restrict myself and technically I have to do a two-handed build because I dropped a two-hander or do I just stick it with generic melee like last time? I don't know if there are really good two-handed builds to be done. That could make it extra interesting. Oh boy. I gotta look up a two-handed build see if that's everything thing now. Fallout 76 two handed build.
I guess chainsaw is considered two-handed, but also it's it's an auto. Huh. Generic melee? Yeah, I don't know. Because that's the thing. Like... I don't know what weapon to use. That's the thing. Like, what weapon should we be aiming for, you know? Let's see if Angry Turtle has a video, or just what I can find on YouTube. Fallout 76 Two-Handed Melee Build. Let's see what comes up. Is there anything new? Nine months ago, they show the auto axe. That's not what you want. <laughs> Two-handed builds are OP. Video posted four years ago. Okay. I don't know if I want to do chainsaw. Like, I've already done it. Chainsaw could, is fun, sure. I guess it, I don't know. Every build seems to go after autos, though. That's the problem. Someone use a katana to solo Earl in two minutes. Okay, I'm sorry, what? I, first off, I didn't know there's a katana Hi, Finn, in this game. You? Nope, sorry, I muted, sorry, buddy. How does he have a katana? That's a samurai sword, that's a skin, flaming blade, so it's a shish kebab? Bro, this guy's got insane damage. What the fuck, 253 kinetic, 294 extra. It's an anti-armor, break slower, swing speed, fucking sword. Holy shit. It's bloodied, though, which is... Honestly, it's a problem for me. Because the problem with doing melee that's not bloodied is... Uh, we're losing out on a ton of strength, which I think helps with the damage. So maybe we do have to go auto. Because I'm pretty sure strength adds to the damage, doesn't it? Yeah, this dude has got fucking, like, every fucking serum out the ass. He has to, like, all buff himself. He's running a full unyielding set. Like, for a perma character, I think we have to go Chainsaw, because I don't think... I mean, obviously, it's going to take... All, we have, like, 10-plus levels where we can get there, which might be today, considering double XP, but, like, I don't know. I don't know if we actually could. Actually, don't know if I could. Like, it's cool, and it watching him one-tap these dudes and vats them is sick. I want to do that. I just don't know if I can... Uh, well, I guess well, I guess we look at the two-handed full health builds. But yeah, I don't know about that. War glaive. I think the problem is I feel like the uh, I feel like the war glaive wouldn't really be doable for me. Because I feel like the war glaive. I, I, I think I can get it for doing the quest line, sure, but I don't think the plan for that is gettable outside of, like, daily ops, so it'd be a lot of grinding to get that. Let's see. Full health melee build. Okay, let's check out that video as well. Skip. Okay, so he's in, uh... Warglaive. Let's see. So let's look up... Warglaive. How do you get it is the real question. Cause I know you get one. Plan Warglaive. Okay, so it can be obtained by level 50 plus player as a reward for successfully completing daily op. Once learned to play. Yeah, man. Ooh, it can be sold by Minerva when you're rotating inventory for 2k gold. Okay, now the question is, what does she have this week? <laughs> is that on the list? Because uh, we might be stuck with Chainsaw. Was it like list 20, I think it says, right? 20. Um... Chemist backpack mod. Ooh, okay. We probably should go for the chemist one over the grocer. That way I can put all my points in the strength for the melee damage. Well, actually, where the, I don't even know what the cards are at. I don't know what builder doing. Let's see. Uh, was it Warglaive? Warglaive actually is on the list. The Warglaive is actually on the list. I don't know how cheap it is, though. Warglaive is actually on the list right now. Oh, shit. 
This might be it. We might have to go with that instead of the backpack plans. How long is she here? She's here until the 15th. We need to burn through the entirety of the Wastelanders questline to get the extra gold so we can buy our way to the rest of this shit to get the backpack. We might be able to get it. We might be able to get it. Think you should use a golf club? I think you should shut the fuck up, all right? We like good suggestions here, not mean suggestions. <laughs> um, <laughs> Golf club, nah, dude, uh-uh, uh-uh. So we could do Warglaive. I don't. I think we'll just say melee in general for now. I don't know, because Warglaive obviously is going to be high level, right? Um, let's look at the Warglaive plan. Warglaive. You can technically get a level 30 version of it. So that would be nice, but... Let's see. Um, the problem is I feel like all these videos... Yeah, he's using a bloody one. Sorry, Angry Turtle. Gotta go. Where's the full health build? Full health build. Okay. What is he using? Oh, he's using a Warglaive, it looks like. Let's see. Scroll back. Can we see the damage numbers? Melee build explosive. Okay, so he's got the legendary card. Okay, so he's not... Weapons. Okay, so Warglaive doing 194, 240. Instigating. Okay. Vats, crits. Okay, smart. And then plus strength. Okay. Cryo Blade's a little interesting, though. Then he's using a chainsaw as well. Hmm. Yeah, let's watch, uh... Hmm. I want to see him, like, one-tap stuff. No, see, he's hitting stuff in, like, events where they're, like, not full HP. I want to see him hit stuff for... F oh, there we go. Uh... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that guy's... Oh, a three-star full? Okay, he one-tapped a three-star legendary ghoul. Uh, it's hard to say, though. He's full HP, though. That's nice. Hang on, did he... It did, he just did a thousand damage. That's kind of crazy. I think we try and get our way to Warglaive. We have a chainsaw as like a backup, but I think we try and get away to Warglaive. Alright, let's finish up loot in this area. Fuck, man. I can't believe we got stuck with this fucking melee. Okay. Well, is there a cap stash down here? There usually is, I thought. The other end, maybe? Oh, boy. Wasn't that Chinese sword an okay weapon? Um, it might be, it might be that, actually. It might be the uh, Chinese officer sword. What's, what's really annoying, though, is that I have a fucking, uh... I got the explosive dragon from the previous character. Like, that was the inherited item, and we just can't use that now. <sighs> Melee only permadeath. Alright. Let me update the, uh... The build. There's a stream title. There we go. Fuck, man. <clears throat> I think there was a 2 3 star that isn't easy to get through mission. Wasn't what it means for the sword? I don't really care about that. Also, the, the that sword's a one hander as well. The Chinese uh, officer sword's a one hander. <laughs> Not even one tapping. I need to get some melee cards, man. So the question is, let me let me look up the fucking let's see, nukes and dragons, nukes and dragons. Oh, hey, oh, excuse me, sir. I need you to not stop, please, sir. God, it's so slow. Um, what are the auto weapons under? I don't remember what. I don't even loot weapons at this point. I don't need them. God damn it. Of course I have a fucking scrounger card as well. Everything's wasted, man. Um, because I have there are cards for auto weapons, getting extra damage out of them, but I don't remember what they are. Um Fuck. Where weapons. Okay. I don't think it's a strength card, so what do we need to be pumping? Is it agility? 
like where where's the auto i thought it was melee isn't it is it really uh, am i blind i don't have it equipped on this build this gladiator shit that's not it where are the new cards at fuck oh my god uh okay let's just look up fucking chainsaw on the wiki Chain. Oh, let's just look up auto axe. That'll be easier to find because there might be other ones. Auto axe. Okay, 76. Okay, now cards affect it. Perks. Okay. Collateral damage. No. Hack and slash. No. Retribution. No. Slugger. Sluggers for two handed. Okay. I thought there was auto ones. Well, I thought there were others. Ah, makeshift ward. No, that's melee. Martial artist. No. Overly generous. Nope, that's not it either. Really? I thought there was an auto ones. I swear to God, there were perks for fucking autos. <sighs> I know there is. Okay, let's just Google Fallout 76. Chainsaw perk cards. I know they added new ones. I know they added new cards. They added one for durability, but I thought they added one for damage. Did they not? I swear to God, they added new cards, man. Am I going crazy? Oh, this thing, this. New chainsaw hurt cards, right? Wasn't didn't they add new ones, man? Bro, am I going crazy? I swear to God, they had two. Did they not? I'm going crazy right now. No, I don't care about legendary perks. I already have, Paulo, like legendary perks are very easy to figure out. It's, we're not, it's not about those. Arms keepers, right, let's see, that's arms keeper. Okay, there, there's one, what is it, reliable tools? Stable tools is int, so that's automatics breaking slower. Is that really just those? Huh, I guess we just go for two-hander stuff then. I guess we just go sluggers. Okay, whatever. Okay, sorry, yeah, that took me a while to figure out. I guess we already have a slugger card, so that's nice. We have another one. Already got that maxed out. I guess we just go for another rank of slugger, I don't know. Gladiator. Like, I'm trying to figure out, since we're stuck melee, we gotta start, like, figuring out where we're going here. Makeshift warrior. Well, melee breaks slower. That'd be good to get that, for sure. Light. Can't... The worst part is I had grabbed a scrounger, you know? Like, that's fucking useless now, you know? Alright, let's get a makeshift warrior, I guess. <sighs> oh, I didn't grab the slugger card. Motherfucker. Should have put a point in. You can choose point and choose card from a different category. I was doing that. Yeah, I know how. I know how. To, I, you realize I've been playing this game since it came out, right? You just hit Z and C or whatever your options are to swap between them. I don't care about that. The thing is, you can't see cards from that require a higher level. So because I'm only level 11, 9 right now. I can't see cards that require level 10, 11, 12, etc. right? So the cards I'm thinking of are literally locked behind 
levels. Um, and I have to like look up. That's why I'm like been alt tab for most of this time is because I'm looking at a f fucking build planner because I have to change everything around because I can't use w uh, sidearms anymore. We can't. We I got melee only build for this character, so we gotta figure out what we're doing. Yeah, I'm well aware how all that stuff works. My thing is, I'm trying to figure out, like, if there are specific... I'm trying to figure out, like, where I need to be going for perk cards-wise, because I know they added in new cards a while back for the chainsaw, but I think it might have been just the, um... The... Whatchamacallit? I guess they didn't add damage cards for it. I guess it, they only had added in them... Cards for... Fucking, whatchamacallit? The... Uh, breaking slower because obviously you have makeshift sure warrior right which is nice because you know you upgrade that to max but then there's another one that's for um, the real auto weapons which break them 40% slower as well here was that a perk card pack give me something good saw our stomach bodyguards pick one well, anyways okay cool Uh, my record is, I'm pretty sure, 104. Let's see. Top right corner of the screen, what does it say? 104? It's really small text on my screen. Okay, there, there you go. There you go. Man, that's so annoying, though. We got stuck with a melee. I mean, we could. We have a double XP, right? So we could burn ourselves up to a chainsaw real quickly, right? So it won't be that hard. I have all these tag materials I can't even fucking use anymore. I'm just gonna leave them. What I should do is save up money so I can get the chainsaw blueprints early if we can. Martial arts, sludger, incisor. Incisor 100% because incisor is the, uh, the fucking anti-armor one I'm pretty sure, right? Um, slugger will definitely help out though because two-handed damage is definitely nice. But it's not as required, so we just go for like base level versions of those. And there's other more useful cards, like Blocker is gonna be huge because we need to fucking take less damage. But we do want the base level cards for now. Like right now, we don't have access to those, so we just fucking put one point in this because we need to put a point into strength, right? But we already have a Slugger card, so we don't need a second Slugger card. So now we start looking at the other ones, right? I'm trying to remember like what, because the thing is, I don't think we have access to a lot of the cards I need right now. I guess we can get another makeshift warrior because we're gonna need that for sure. So I think we just roll that for now. Shield. <laughs> yeah, serendipity wouldn't be terrible, but serendipity is mostly for low health, isn't it? Yeah, it's well below health. Yeah, so we're we're nah, it's not useful. All right, let's just grab another makeshift, I guess. Man, I just I hate how we got like RNGs. Like it's sometimes I don't even like ever get the ten mil pistol. Uh, build going you know like sometimes it just doesn't happen you know like sometimes we just never get the like the suppressor to roll on a character and we got it on this character and now we can't use melee like bro it's such a fucking slap in the face man I hate it does weapon arson perk and int uh, count towards durability weapon arson is for crafting if I recall, pretty damn sure. I have nukes and dragons up so I can figure that out. But I'm pretty sure weapon arson is only when you're creating the weapon. Oh no, it's for repair. You can repair any weapon to 100% max durability. Yeah, so that does for melee. But yeah, it's basically so it's whenever you repair something. So instead of you repairing it to 100%, you repair it to a default 130. And then it looks like, let's see, information. Nope, okay, not, okay, I guess we just mouse over it. 160 and then 200%, yeah. So you can, that, like, that's, that card is specifically for repairing. Now, if you have a high intelligence, you, when you create a weapon, it could roll higher than that. Uh, I guess, we, I don't know why, this is how broken I am for this run, and in general. Now I'm a melee only character. Literally, there's no point in me walking up to these boxes anymore. Like, I'm so fucked. Like, 
I, 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 oh, this is awful. Oh my god, there's so much loot that I just can't grab. There's no fucking, I guess I could grab the shotgun because I can sell that off and we need money. But like, fuck, dude. Ah, now don't get me wrong. I've done one other melee build perma before when it rolls this section, but like, and I, it, don't get me wrong, I really enjoy the chainsaw. It's gonna be fun until we can fuck with the, the war glaive. And the war glaive might be fun as well. But god, dude, it's just, I'm gonna, it's gonna be so hard for me to break my fucking habits with this, dude. <laughs> Equip slugger? Uh, no. Oh yeah, we have extra point in there. Weird. Oh yeah, you did grab it. Okay, never mind. No, you're right. You're right. Oh man. The, the, to be fair, though, what 43 damage? Oh man, that 10% is so fucking good. 40. You only get three points out of it. Ah, oh, it's so bad. Ah, uh, I guess we can swap out this card though. Uh, let's put on. Do 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 do. Lateral. Let's see. Where's that's a melee one, right? Enemies with a melee have 10% chance to explode. Let's grab that one. There we go. Unopened perk card pack. Well, what'd we get? Rounder, useless. Serendipity, meh. Can do, meh. Back in light. Wow, love all those cars. Timber Roots could have been a pickaxe with a shovel. Oh, you mean as the actual starter? I mean, the actual starter is like whatever. Like I said, I can. it's going to suck going through the next 10 levels without any range, but I'll get the chainsaw pretty quickly. Like, I have a guaranteed way to get the easy one, you know? Like, I can just go do the uh, event and get a 20 a chainsaw pretty easily, right? Um, getting extra chainsaws will be good in case one breaks, or breaking them down. So we, we're trying to get money today. That's the big thing, is we're trying to get through quests so we can level up and get the chainsaw today. Because um, the stream's only just getting started. When we I say it's only getting started, how am I two hours in already? What the fuck? Um, but yeah, we're gonna... We're, we're trying to get to 20 today, but we're trying to... Uh, need to go over and pick up the grocery or the chemist backpack mod because getting the chemist backpack mod is going to be a very good use of my gold because that means I don't have to have these traveling pharmacy cards equipped because these are obviously required in my opinion for any fucking perma character because I'm going to be carrying so many stims just in case they start spamming them you know but 90% reduced weight I mean hell even now even now, 87 pounds. Let's take that off. And this is a brand new character. 127. Bro, 40 pounds already. So we need that card, right? See where I can take care of food and drink. But chems, we gotta have that card, right? And freeing up those slots will be good. Because I'm pretty sure, if I recall, let's just, let's just do uh let's do new build. Okay, cool. Build planner. Perfect. Refresh. Okay, so now let's let's see what we do. We plan out a build. We get uh, let's see. Oh no, that's that's not that card. There we go. You get Slugger one, Master Slugger. You go for Incisor, at level three, obviously. Blocker level three. Because so we need that. Martial artists uh, swing faster. Does martial artists work with the chainsaw? I gotta figure that one out actually. Martial artists. Okay, there we go. Martial artists is definitely good because it's a 30% swing speed. Uh, expert slugger and then slugger. That's 12 already right there. Which means we could then add in. I don't know if Basher helps. Does Basher help? I don't think Basher helps. Fallout 76, Basher, Chainsaw. Does that work? Does Basher work with chainsaws? No. Okay, thank you. Cool, okay. So we don't need Basher. But still, that's, that's already 12 points taken up, and we haven't even put more than one point into all the extra damage cards. So, yeah. We need a lot of strength, essentially, for this character. The question is, does strength actually buff your damage as well? That's a real question. Strength, Fallout 76. Let's see what the wiki says. Seventy-six modifies carry weight, melee damage. It does affect melee damage. All right, cool. We could probably actually test it. Well, we don't have a chainsaw. So never mind. I do want to respect this. Ah, uh, must be twenty-five to use a punch machine. Oh, fuck you, game. 
don't face the wasteland without the proper supplies. I guess we probably shouldn't have sold that off. Not off the mine. I don't want to blow myself up. <sighs> well, this is annoying. All right, let's uh, quit derping around. Back in the action. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's just drop all my ammo because we don't use ammo anymore. I guess that's one way to save weight, you know. Cool. There we go. Alright, cool. Continuing onwards. Side. Hello? Miscellaneous. Boom. We don't care about that quest, because we're not going to be doing that shit for a long time. One quest in front, would it be okay to have throwing knives? Yeah, that's melee. I allow myself grenades as well. Not that I ever use them much, but you know. Oh. Uh -oh. You give me Tomahawk back, thank you. Oh my god, he's got a lot of HP. This isn't great. Can, I, can you hang on for a second, buddy? I need to eat some food and see if I have any really food here. One on a stick. Does that give me a melee buff? God, this thing is so slow, dude. I hate two-handers for this reason. Oh, good, and he gave me a 44 pistol. God damn it. What a waste. Gun. Vats. I will say, Vats melee is satisfying, though. Just kind of like instant transmissioning forward, just psh, every fucking time. That's fun. Ooh, took his head right off, dude. Fuck you, bitch. Yeah. The glowing meat also? Yeah, I don't know which one it is after the changes, because they changed a bunch of them as well. I thought all meat was supposed to, like, help you, but I guess not. Just read that shit. Uh, yeah, throwing knives are very much, like, gonna be, like, the only thing we do. Like, we grab weapons to, like, sell, I guess, if we want to, to make money, because we need caps for chainsaw plans and shit, but yeah, it's, it's not ideal. I don't know, should I even allow myself grenades? I probably shouldn't. I probably shouldn't. Throwing knives are fine, but those are eventually going to turn bad as well, I think, actually. Should probably be, I don't know why I picked up the ammo. I don't know why I picked up that ammo. Oh, I don't know why I'm picking it. Like, let's grab the weapons, I guess. Fuck it. Sell those. <laughs> two chatting at once? How dare you? You're two timing us? Son of a bitch. Aiming for the head and you can one tap these guys. Yeah, you can one tap them even if I'm in combat. Once in a while, you know. You forgot the name of Stims, bruh. Leak. 
I guess it's upstairs. Bro. Two fucking. Many y'all out here, man. Looking at for daily right now, still. Some Nuka Colas and Mole Miners. Okay, sodas. Let's see, there should be a soda machine, right? Cha. Beautiful. One, a two, a three. Does it heal? Fantastic. Price of subs up. Do you get more? Uh, no. I think it's still just like 50. Well, maybe. Maybe. I think it is because I did it's it's a percentage, right? So yes, I guess. It depends. Um cuz there's obviously going to always be ow, There's always going to be conversion, right? To USD cuz I get paid out on that. So I guess it really depends on how, uh whatever it is cuz I if you look below the stream I have a thing, a little widget. Uh, I need to keep uh 100 paid subs a month per month for three months in a row. It says 300, but that's for like the 70-30 split, right? Because default, every Twitch partner gets 50-50, unless you're special and you somehow knew to ask your partner manager, which I've only ever had one of to begin with, uh, you, know, you had to ask them back and they're like, hey, sign me up for this, you know? And they have to be like, yeah, sure, we'll do that, you know? So I wasn't special enough to even know about that until fucking not long ago. And by the time I did, it was way too late because I never had my partner rep anymore. Uh, so I've had 50-50 the entire time. So I get half of whatever the actual sub revenue is or the cost. Uh, so them raising the prices sucks for y'all. Maybe I get a little bit more from that one. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know. They're they're paying less per as well for Prime in a lot of regions, which is really shitty. Which is just they just love fucking me. <laughs> but yeah, I could get sixty percent of sub revenue if I keep that. But the thing is, I don't know if I actually had enough at the end of last month because uh, I was like one or two away and I mentioned it on stream and I feel like near the end of the day I checked and I was like one or two away but I I don't I don't know if it actually ticked over or not so I, I had it I had the previous couple months and I need to have it at the end of this month because it starts on, in May that's when the that the 60 percent of that ticks over because previously it was oh ooh, ooh, that thing could have triggered Previously, it was just, uh... Okay, dude. okay. Oh, it's getting sledgehammer! Oh my god, we just got a god-tier weapon for this fucking run. Holy shit, dude. Oh my god. Dude, what a starter. Instigating sled? Bro, double damage if they're at full HP. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's fucking go. I don't even need to power some. You're just fucking dead, dude. <laughs> this is gonna be so fucking nice until I get a chainsaw. Holy shit. Okay, what was I saying? Yeah, uh, they've had like the 70-30 program for like a year or so, maybe, and now they're opening up, so instead of it, because the 70-30 is kind of a steep requirement for, as for a pleb like me. Uh, but they're opening it up, so... Um... I'm surprised that guy actually had legendary, by the way. I'm sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. Normally, like, that legendary, like, Scorched out there, he's usually there in every run, and he usually cucks me out of a legendary because it's, like, a low-level dude. But I guess I actually dropped it that time, so that's cool. And it was a fucking baller-ass one, too. Like, goddamn. Uh... Right, I should not be crunching those down. I'm trying to sell those weapons. Duh. Let's crunch a couple of them though. Just see a little bit of space. But yeah, they uh they started the 7030 program a while back, but it uh, requires you having 300 paid subs for three months. But now starting in May, if you had it for the previous three, it'll take over and I'll immediately have it. But I don't actually know if I got it last month. Because I had it, I had the requirements at the end of January and February, and it, all of March I I may have just missed it. I don't know. Can't say I would have guessed some. Seems locked. 
But yeah, there you go. You were wondering if I get more? Like, maybe? I, I, I this, The whole thing is a 50-50 split, right? So... So I don't know. I guess I don't need to actually read that for the inoculation stuff, huh? Oh, you know what? We can dispense rations. We can get freebie food. We need that. Thank you. I'll take that. Take that gum as well, so we don't have to eat as much. I guess that doesn't really matter. Oh, you know what? We'll eat it anyways. Bubble gum? Hello? That's the next category over. Mmm, delicious. Anyways. Sorry, I don't like talking about subs and money and shit at all, but you asked if I got more since the price increase, and maybe? I don't know. It depends on, like, depends on whatever your currency is, you know? I get half. Of actual paid subs. Gift subs are like, I guess I get half of those as well. So, yeah, but, and I guess, I, and prime subs are like, there's no half of it because that's, that's just free money. So I, I have to like look at the chart because they, they put out a thing a while back. We're like, hey, you're going to be getting less money for prime subs in most regions. And I'm like, oh, that's great. The good start. It's a start. Yeah, we definitely need swing speed. That's our biggest thing. Oh, uranium fever would be so fucking nice to see some legendaries right now, but oh well. I guess we could go look around for some cultists real quick. Oh my god, he fucking choked the swing. You know what I need to do is I need to double back and sell off the fucking uh, guns anyways, because we're getting full. We do have to stop by Camden Park today. So I can get some chainsaw blueprints, because we are going to use a chainsaw eventually. Even if we don't use one straight away, because we have this thing for now, um, this is going to stop doing one-shots eventually. Is Twitch still a big loss for Amazon? Supposedly? I don't know. I mean, they can use... The thing is, they can use it as their advertising platform, right? So, like, sure, it, like, it might be operating at a loss, but, like, I mean, really, it's still, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. All my fucking ammo I dropped still there. Do I even think I'm going to use this sickle? Probably not. Let's just get dipping. Oh, we'll leave it as a backup for now. Until we get the chainsaw. We'll, then we'll sell it off. This person needs to get off the vendor, buddy. Now available. They were probably confused as what the fuck that what noise was, and I'm like, yep. That's me. Um, let's fucking unfavor you. There we go. Now we can destroy that thing. Alright. Get on out of here. My dude shiz by shiz love shiz love. Hey, hey man, dropping the 33 months. Appreciate you. Hope you having a good week or had a good week. I guess it's having because the week's not over yet. But hey, appreciate everyone tuning in today. Yep. Yep. I hope I get picked for that fucking, uh, whatchamacallit, gray zone fucking streaming shit. I don't think I'm going to, because I get cucked out of everything. It would have been nice to fucking get one of those fucking streamer kits from Elgato. Just all that Fallout branded Elgato gear looks so fucking cool, man. But, 
uh, then I looked at the prices of it now that I actually put it out a couple days ago or yesterday and uh, oh boy no thanks I'm good like maybe maybe I'll buy the streamer de stream deck because I've been wanting a stream deck for a long time but obviously I've been broke as shit uh, maybe I'll get the stream deck when I get paid from twitch uh, next week I don't know though but the entire kit, it's like, bro, I'm not spending 500 bucks on a mic, a fucking mic arm, a mixer, and a fucking stream deck. <laughs> like, pass. I'm good. <laughs> like, you know, do I want it? Yes. Okay. That would be lying if I said I didn't want it. But, uh, <sighs> not that much, you know? Like, sure, if I move my mic at all, it makes some fucking noise. I don't know how bad the noise is. I should probably watch my VOD when I do that so I can actually figure it out. Uh, and my mixer, I don't know if, if it's the mixer or the mic arm or what the crack one's coming from, you know, but it does happen occasionally, so maybe the mixer would be good for me, and I'll just keep my mic in my mic arm, but, I mean, my mic arm, I don't know. And I've watched some videos, and it's like the people don't like when comparing it to other stuff, the mic isn't, like, recommended versus other stuff, but they're also recommending it versus higher stuff, and so it's like... I don't know if the mic would be better. I don't know if a lot of stuff would be better. Did I do this quest? Hey, it's here. Beautiful. Mazgus Max P. Um, so a lot of it's like, eh, I don't need the mic arm. It's 100 bucks for a mic arm. Even though it does look like a nice one, considering I could probably actually slide it under my monitor instead of it having to come off from the right like where it is. You know, it looks like it'd be a better setup, but I'm going to... Ooh. Come down here so I can kill you. Attention all responders. Like, I could see myself actually using the stream deck, though, you know? I could see that actually being useful. The rest is like, sure, it'd be nice, but it's a lot of fucking money, man. I don't know. Did you just sell a few organs? Yeah, I'm gonna get right on that. How about we sell yours, Rob? You didn't say whose organs. Ooh, fire axe. That's a good secondary. Better than a pickaxe, that's for damn sure. Did I drink all the nukas? We did. Good. Ooh, no sludge. Break that down, get a fucking some blades for this bitch. I feel like someone's gonna spawn up here, so I should wait up for this guy. No? Where they at? Here's somebody walking. Yep. Gotcha! Have a gun. Hit stims though. Ooh, baseball bat too. misread organs. The thing is, I don't know what you could have misread organs into. I mean, you're like a letter off, you know, I'm just saying. <clears throat> and there's like an N that shouldn't be there, you know, I'm just, I'm, you know, I'm just saying. Bro. 
hate how sometimes fucking VATS just doesn't go off in Attention melee. Responders. Cargo bot is now on final approach. Eyes to the sky, people. Shotgun sell for way more than the fucking rifles. Maybe that's durability wise though. I'll grab it anyways, we got space. Looking on stims. Not a lot of diluters. We need to make some. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Level up. So let's see here. We want. T -t 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 keep looking at this. Basher, no. Slugger, no. Well, do we get some of these good cards? I need to close all these tabs. I got a lot of bullshit tabs open. I got IMDB pages and shit. Um. Okay, there we go. Let's see. Expert Slugger is a level 15, Martial Artist is 16, Blocker's 21, Incisor's 34. God. Okay, well, that's annoying. We got a while. I would say, hey, let's use the Spike Knuckles, but technically, I don't know, that's not really gonna help with the build, because that's, that's an unarmed build. We'll just sell it off. Let's uh, deal with this sledge first. See if we get a good mod out of it. Ooh, mahogany. Hmm. Slow. Is the fire axe better? It's also slow. No, it's not. Okay, bye bye. Sledgehammer. Oh, we didn't learn anything off of it. Man, that's annoying. That's annoying. All right. A nuke? That's a nuke. Okay. Attention, citizens. All right, it, they hit Morgantown, right? Imminent. Cranberry bog one second ago. Please exit the area at oh, your earliest convenience. Check there. What the fuck is that, Nick? Oh, Thank they're go. They're trying to kill their friend or somebody else. Did he misclick? What is this location? Are they trying to nuke the workshop? Maybe? Like it's directly on the dude's camp. I definitely think there might be some PvP going on right there. <laughs> He's just saying, "Fuck this guy." Nine years later, and saves it still that. Yeah, they're probably Steam Cloud saved, honestly. Chat, it's okay. You know, I, I may have, I may have said some things earlier. You know, about uh, not being a fan of some other people streaming the category because I wasn't number one. But it's okay. We're up to number three now. Okay, we were five earlier. It's okay. We're at the <laughs> Miguel. I don't know. Anyways, I think it's cool that people are playing this game, though. Because, again, more people playing it. Maybe it means we get a spin-off from uh, Bethesda. Hmm? That'd be pretty cool. If your camp doesn't have all the necessities, consider using... I don't think it's going to happen. I think, if anything, they'll just pump more plans into 76. But uh, I, if, if, we got a, if we actually got a spin-off... Even if it's not from Bethesda, if, like I'm totally down for a support studio. I say support studio just because it wouldn't be obviously be BGS, you know. Um, but if uh, you know Bethesda works with fucking somebody and uh, a different studio fucking slams out a fucking you know spinoff, ooh. Transform this game? I think you think too much of what this game can and can't be. I don't think I didn't say they're spinning off 76. 76 is already a spin-off of 4. It's like a side project. It was literally the multiplayer component that was gonna be in Fallout 4, but then they made a whole like multiplayer live uh, a whole live service game out instead. Cause this was supposed to be in Fallout 4. Like that's how 76 came to be.
but three has a spinoff and it's New Vegas. Right? So a four spinoff would be like Fallout 4 New Vegas or Fallout 4 Miami or whatever. Although technically Fallout Miami is obviously a mod pack, but you get what I'm saying, right? 76 is like a whole different number. It's like a weird side thing, okay? It exists in like its own limbo, you know? Event collision course? Oh, it's it's waiting for the cargo drop, but it's already dropped. Weird. Did I get reward for that earlier? I don't know if we actually got a reward for pop it popping up. We may have we might get be getting fucked out of this. Because some of that special was the 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 first part. This is yeah. I think this one bugged out, which is kind of a bummer. I think this one bugged out, which is not good. Because it could have given us a reward, but oh well, whatever. But yeah, I don't... Yeah, no, they're not going to transform this game. This game is what it is. Now, they have plans already to do a map expansion that they announced at the end of last year. Um, so clearly, Bethesda and Microsoft... Maybe, I'm assuming Microsoft greenlit it, I don't know. Because Microsoft owns Bethesda these days. Uh, I'm assuming, uh, you know, they were like, hey, people are going to be playing 76 because of the TV show, uh, and we've made the game obviously great after years of all the updates, so they're like, hey, let's let's put in, you know, new stuff, hence this concept art in the back of the image there, you know? Like, that's what the new map area is going to be, you know? Miguel, and, like, that's, I told you, that's the concept art, which is kind of nutty. Nearby. It smells too good. Uh -huh. I could detect there it from go. the airfield. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't, what do you mean transform this game? Like, they're not gonna make this suddenly, like, a whole fucking new game. Like, this is, the game's a multiplayer game through and through. They would piss off so much of the audience if they transformed it. No, if anything happens, they're either gonna keep pumping more resources into 76, or we're gonna, I mean, we've already heard about, because of leaked documents from, like, some court case or whatever, they have, like, if they're old plans, obviously, but... Uh, they had like an old roadmap of like stuff they were coming out with and Fallout 3 remaster I think was on that list I don't really know what that means But also it was slated for like a couple years ago, obviously so that plan is all changed So who knows what the fuck's going on with that shit that has never been officially confirmed <clears throat> Right But uh, I could totally see Microsoft since they own Bethesda being like hey we know you guys aren't going to be able to make a Fallout 5 for a long time, right? Because, again, it's not coming out. Just don't get your hopes up for Fallout 5, all right? At least a Bethesda Game Studios, a.k.a. Main, the main studio, you know? They're not doing that for a long time, all right? Because we have to have Starfield DLC this year, and we're going to assume only one year of DLCs, okay? That means Elder Scrolls 6, which is the next game in the series, next game they're releasing because they've already teased that a long time ago, that can't even be out until the end of next year. And that's assuming a lot. And then you gotta assume one year of DLCs for that, because they, they put out a bunch for Skyrim as well. You know? That means the end of 2025 for that. DLCs for Elder Scrolls 6. At least 2026 is the minimum for Fallout 5. That's two plus years away. I can totally see them giving uh now that they've like they're doing the the next game next gen version you know for fallout 4 that could be part of it as well you know besides doing the next gen version uh to just you know have a better version of the game out on consoles uh as well as pc could well, the pc doesn't really need it but you know i mean it obviously it's gonna help pc don't get me wrong but like you know it's better to have like a more modern version on xbox series x slash s but um <clears throat> It's possible updating the engine uh, with the, the next gen update is what was like a big thing to then package that engine up and ship it off to one of Microsoft's other studios so that they can work on the spinoff, you know? That could very well be a thing. That'd be kind of sick. I don't think it's a, I don't think it's happening. I think it would be sick though. Sorry, anyways, <clears throat> because, uh, you know, Fallout 4 hadn't been updated since 
uh, the DLC came out, right? So that came out at the end of 2015. DLC's probably within the first year or so, so end of 2026. Or in, uh, 2016, I should say. So it's been like eight years since there's been like a big update for that shit, you know? So pushing it out so they can play on current gen consoles and then like having that good baseline to then give to a studio to work on. And obviously they'll have all the assets and shit. Like, I could totally see that being part of a spinoff plan. I don't think it's going to happen. Let me be clear here. I don't think we're getting an actual like Fallout 4 sub name area, you know? I don't think we're getting a spinoff, okay? I think it'd be sick. And I could see that happening. I just don't think it will. A Fallout 3 remaster was literally on the plan. I could see that happening. And I could see them pumping more resources into this, you know? I just, I don't know, we'll see. Responder survivors violent. I don't know if we'd see a New Vegas remaster. I think it'd be cool as well. I think if they do a 3 remaster, that a New Vegas remaster could just as easily come about. Because again, 3 and New Vegas are the same game. There's a reason why it came out like only a year later or something like that, you know? Um, and there's a reason why they mod both the games together for the Tales of Two Wasteland mod, you know? Because it's the same game. Just different story, obviously, right? <laughs> different setting, extra weapons, etc, etc, right? But it's the same core gameplay, you know? Same core engine for that matter, right? So, I could very easily see uh, once they do whatever they're gonna do for a remaster for 3, if they do it, by the way. It's still not confirmed. But it was on the plan, like I said, a long time ago. Uh, but if that does come about, then uh, I could totally see that following suit. I think if we're going to get a remaster of either of those games, it's gonna be three though, just because Bethesda made three and Obsidian was the one who made uh, Vegas, right? Now I'm pretty sure Obsidian is still owned by Microsoft at this point. Work, volunteer. So they could do that. The center sees the heaviest of casualties. But so uh, the supplies here are probably always running low. They're kind of busy probably, you know? They're probably off Restock doing their avowed and stuff and the whatever else they're working Responder on, you know? Responder Rocky set up in the processing camp in a cargo container. <laughs> hey, you are doing good work, volunteer. I know it's tough to walk through the wounded and just restock shelves, but we need you to do this. Love the Janky 76, but it's no next-gen FPS RPG, now. that's for sure. Bethesda would love to retool the creation engine for Furious. We well, they've already done that on. with Creation Engine 2 for Starfield, right? If we're all safe... Yeah, I don't think anybody anything. claimed this was a next-gen RPG. <laughs> isn't destroyed, you know? It's a Fallout game it just needs that's Fallout. multiplayer now, which Im admittedly is pretty fucking sweet. Anyway, Wait, I got a level 45 version? I'll keep it for down the road, but that's kind of annoying. I can't really do anything with that. Just tell him that Kesha has you doing patrols. <sighs> now start heading over to the medical center. You want to keep your patrols pretty quick so the responder database doesn't lock you out. We use the processing center to hold food and drink supplies for any new survivors brought back for triage. So, it's real important to keep stocked. God damn it, man. I'm trying to unfavor it. Such chaos keeping things well stocked. There we go. Since the scorched. Well, since the bombs. Seems like forever now. Even this bug happens. It's always annoying on a permanent Like character. I used to tell my students. Beautiful. Things are always a different kind of tough, and so are you. You only need to be tough enough to make it. But the addendum... Oh my god, shut up. I've heard this shit too many fucking times. Soon later, the remaster mall? I don't know about that one. Now... I don't think Bethesda or Microsoft's gonna do it. I think it would be sick, though, if they actually decided to take their... Again, this is some real tinfoil hat shit, so you're gonna have to put on a whole nother role, okay, chat, for this one. But what if them doing the, the next-gen update for Fallout 4, you know, that's coming out in a couple weeks, you know, a week or two, whatever, it's a couple weeks. Uh, what if that update lays the foundation for them to now have a quote baseline for fallout right 
what if they remake 1 and 2 in 3D? Because if you're not aware, 1 and 2 are top-down games. They're like strategy games. It's an RPG, but I guess it's more like, it's still, it's a top-down game, right? It's not, it's not the Fallout you most likely know and love. What if they took those games and made them top-down? That'd be real sick. Because I've still yet to play those. Because I have no interest in playing top-down versions of those. As much as I love the franchise, I don't love enough to fuck with those. Now, some people in the community are working on mods for that. Which I think is sick. And I will happily play those. I'll happily play those whenever they come out. You know? But, uh... Imagine... Microsoft's like, hey, uh, you know, you got this core that's good enough, push it out. That'd be pretty fucking cool. Alrighty. Zipping by because of the double XP boost. Let's go sell off all these weapons again. Ooh, anti armor bowie knife. I'm trying to think, like, what I. I guess we should keep just pumping intelligence for now to get the other shit. Through hiker wouldn't be terrible as well. But let's try and get uh, makeshift warrior maxed out, honestly. Should be doing. Do I have lone? I have lone wander. Okay, we're good. Would be awesome if they add uh, what you're doing in 76 hardcore mode. That'd be cool, but you got to realize most of the stuff in the top left corner, like that's all obviously me, right? Uh, that's a lot of extra, like, mm, I don't know. Now, I, I think it would be sick. Uh, but personally, if, I mean, I guess it's not that much work where they just add in a couple extra modifiers for your character, right? Um, personally, though, I'd rather them just hire me so I can make an actual like, survival PvP mode, you know? Because you can make an amazing Daisy or amazing Tarkov out of this game. Uh, and I can do it too. Like, they've shown they that the PvP in 76 can be really fun. I loved Nuclear Winter Man. Like, I played the shit out of it, you know? Do we care about the bat? I don't think we do. I think we're gonna get rid of it. It has armor pen, but I don't like it. Be sure you know to what? Stop. We will keep it. Uh, while you can. Fuck the fire axe. Um, but yeah, they've shown with, uh, Nuclear Winter that you can have fun PvP in this. Good PvP in this, you know? Um, actually, no, I should sell off the fucking bat as well, honestly. I have the knife now. That's a, that'll be good backup. If you have supplies so, you combine a bunch I of other existing features service. and just change the loot dropping, and you're pretty much good. And you can have a PvP mode, you know? Obviously, there's a lot of tweaking that needs to be done, but, like, it's very doable in my opinion. It's doable. It's definitely doable. I don't know why I have a one-hander as a secondary backup, but, well. Ooh, look at that chest piece. Oh, we did it too early. Oh, no, we're not too high level, I think, what it was. I think you have to be lower level to get silver linings, because that should have shown up. I think silver lining is a, uh... This is the name chest piece you're supposed to get from that quest line, but I think if you're under a certain level or over a certain level, you don't get it. I don't remember. 
It's fucking annoying. Whatever. Okay, so I think we just keep chugging along with the quest line so we can try and get 20. As much as getting the chainsaw would be good, um, I think, well, how much money do we have? 370 something? I could stop off and. Do we go to the White Springs first? I think we head to the White Springs. I think I get the backpack mod immediately. I think getting that out of the way before I forget will be good. Because as much as I want the War Glaive and kind of want to try that build out, I don't know. If we'll be able to really get that going. So I'd rather go in on a chainsaw instead. So I think we just go to the White Springs real quick here. And uh, we'll pick up the grocer plan. Or the chemist plan, I should say. Bro, why does it keep fucking adding this tag? They keep updating my broadcast with this tag that says View Rewards and I don't care about it. Like, I'm totally okay with the auto tag for English because it just lets people know what channel or what the, what the language is broadcast in, you know? And what the chat primarily will be obviously right but they to starting today uh, so I don't know maybe it started a couple days ago because I was see my days off right but I noticed today I went live and I had a fucking tag on my screen that said view rewards I was like I didn't set that so I go and I remove it but then I look at the category and like most people have it set as well I'm like what the fuck I think because there's like the whole like earning chat points and whatnot I think Having those, like just having anything there in that category, puts that tag on your screen now. And I, or the stream, and I hate that. It's so annoying. <laughs> we get rewards? No, you don't. I mean, you technically do if you want better Twitch emotes and shit, but like, like, see, that's the thing though. New people to Twitch might see view rewards and think like giveaways and shit, and like, no. I mean, don't get wrong, if I ever have extra keys to give away, I'd do it. But like, like, it's like, what the fuck, dude? So annoying. I don't know. I just I don't like it. Quit adding the stupid tag to my stream. I don't want it. Oh, I heard. Together. Bro. <laughs> Gotta get a little too close sometimes for that, man. It's kind of annoying. I got any food worth cooking up up here? Well, the good thing about not having to use a gun anymore is uh, I don't have to worry about ammo or any of that shit, you know? Nice and easy. Misleading. Well, the thing is, like, I get it. You know, maybe some people want to do the thing where, like, hey, I want to watch a channel. Like, if I'm going to watch a new game, you know, maybe they're like, I want to watch a channel where I can eventually gamble for stuff, you know, or I don't fucking know. Like, it's just annoying that, uh, because it's like, I don't, I don't want that tag. Like, I keep my tags for a specific reason. This is a chill stream, so we're chill. We're English speaking channel, so it's English. And right now we're doing permadeath, so I had the permadeath tag on. Like, that's it, you know? I don't want a lot of other shenanigans there. Sure, you could do the whole, like, interacts with chat or whatever, because I've seen that tag a couple times, but I'm like, people don't browse by those, man. <laughs> Ain't no way. 
I don't know, I just, viewer rewards is such like a, like, bitch, don't, don't force tags on my stream, thank you. Okay. Don't do it. Don't do it. See, what sucks though about getting this hammer, because the sledge is good. Instigating, like that's real good. Uh, what sucks about getting it though is uh, it's it's gonna be a bummer because I it, all of my RNG for this character has been sapped up by getting this straight away. Like, was it this is level ten? Yeah, it's a level ten instigating. Like, <laughs> like it, it's it's good for now, but eventually it's gonna turn to shit. It's just like, oh. Okay, dude. Uh oh, this is gonna hurt. The guy inside. I think it's two turrets. They did something with stims after last update, so they're just going super slow. It's really annoying. Damn, dude just popped. Whoa. Hey, bud, calm down. Oh, he lived. Bro, I can't, I can't get him. There's literally no way to get him. We got to go climb up the rooftop, I think. That's annoying. Come here, you little shit. Where's your friend at? No friend? No friend. Okay, good. Okay, now before I was so rudely interrupted. If you're new to the game, by the way, if you're ever inside anywhere and you see a map, get real close to it and look around for the pins. They will literally show up on your map now. I think I should have had all these ready. Up north? Grafton Dam. We haven't been there yet. Boom. Grafton Dam shows up now. So yeah, you can mark your map by doing that kind of shit, which is nice. Our first 76 character got instigating Deathclaw Gauntlet on a stealth build and it was dirty. Yeah, I bet you that was. Oh, it says go to the top world. Okay, I thought it says listen to it. Okay, never mind. I guess it updated straight away. Alrighty. <clears throat> At least the game was feeling, you know, a little bit of pity on me, you know? It's like, hey. He got a sledgehammer as his first one, you know? Let's, uh, let's give him, like, something. Or, he's not a sledgehammer. He got a melee weapon for his build. Let's give him something actually good for a second drop, you know? 
That was nice of them. Mm, hot dog. Delicious. Sugar, too. More hot dogs. Some fancy lad snack cakes. Delicious. <laughs> I'm bothering picking up supplies. Like, what do we need supplies for? Making armor, I guess? I don't know. I mean, this is a melee character, I de and I can use armor. I definitely need to be getting life steel, so, uh, life saving pieces, so it's not like I can do the. It's not like I'll be using crafting armor a lot, you know? Maybe I will be? I don't know. Where's the... You guys were infected like there's a cultist dude, but there's cultist dude not around. Hello? Mr. Cultist, hello, where are you? Here? He might not be here. Yeah, those guys had like the red shit on them like there's a cultist dude around. What a disappointment. Why? Maybe, maybe someone killed him earlier and he disappeared, but they left the mobs unkilled. That's kind of weird, but okay. Huh? Very peculiar. Hmm. Hot dog. Delicious. So Chad, how y'all doing? Everyone have a good week so far? What have y'all been uh, playing recently, video game wise, you know? Wonder what everyone's been up to. Boy Thunder, working on Type 90s for Japan. Word. Type 90. Is that a tank? Or is that the jet? I can't remember. Jets, planes. Pee Wee Premier League. Word. Think I'm starting a new 76 character this weekend. Nice. Been playing Elden Ring. That's cool. Oh, he lived. Oh, see, this is what I'm talking about, man. We need the damage perks, dude. Like, the fact that he survived that, that's not good. We gotta go for the headshots now. Tank? Okay. That's what I thought it was. It wasn't 100%, though. Got a new PC and I'm currently playing unarmed build. Tells two wasteland wabajack mod pack. Fuck yeah. Played a bit of Once Human. It's very 76 with the base building. Yeah, yeah. Once Human's cool. I just not obviously don't want to touch it because uh, it's gonna get wiped before. I um, yeah, I've, I've, I've played it enough to know that it's cool and I'll play it on release. You know, that's enough for me. I don't wanna spoil all that stuff in there. You know, burn out. Big outs, or burnout's the biggest thing for me. Oop. Because I burn out real fast these days. Oh, I heard the rocket launcher. There's a rocket dude. Is that you? It's probably, probably this one because of the elite. Oh, yeah, we got it. The launcher should sell that. The Bowie knife as well. Because I can... Mod my other shit. Goodbye. 
Oh, you're just gonna, okay. I have this really bad fucking like itch to hit R all the goddamn time chat and it's not good. I don't know why R in a FPS game reloads. I don't, what am I gonna reload? I have a sledgehammer. What am I, what am I gonna do? <laughs> Play too many fucking shooters, man, this game. I'm like stuck on a melee build again. It's like, bro, oh no, I should leave this area immediately. This is, my last melee character literally died right off of this thing. Like, I look over the edge, you see that little slide right there? I'm like, ah, I can land on that, I'll be fine. I died. That was the chainsaw character. I think he was like level 40 or something at that point. Ooh, squirrel bits. Yeah, we need to go. How many episodes of Fall Prime on this? I've seen it all. I watched all of it. You just, I, I, yeah, no. It was a good thing it came out on my days off, because I was not going to stream this without having seen it, because if I tell people I haven't seen it, then people will try and spoil it. Not that I have a lot of assholes watching my stream anymore. I don't know if I have any. If they do, they're lurking. Uh, but I've been a streamer long enough and I used to be a big enough streamer that uh, people would actively like try and spoil the latest Game of Thrones episode when that shit was new you know people it was still hyping that up so I always like for the big stuff I always watch it like immediately uh, for Fallout I watched the first two episodes live and then uh, watched the rest of it yesterday because those are my off days But yeah, no spoilers here, because uh, there's plenty of people who haven't watched it yet. Because the game, the end of the game, the show hasn't even been out for two full days yet. Oh, fuck, I need to, f we need to f start finding uh, vendors. We need to go to vendors that are looking for more soup peel and shit. Because chains, uh, uh, we need the flamer mod actually more than that, I think. The flamer mod's going to help out with the chains. Uh, yeah, we'll get the money soon enough, but. Uh, yeah, hmm, because mm, serums... Getting serums early would be really huge, honestly. Maybe we do that. Maybe we do take a look around. There's definitely some other serums that I should be getting on this character for sure. Speed Demon, even though the reload's not good, like it'd still be useful for the move speed, you know? So we still gotta yeah. get Speed Demon. We still gotta now get... People have come back to this uh, area, whatchamacallit? All wanna be setting up places like Foundation. Still gotta get... Uh, At least it's nice out, right? Marsupial, right? I think Twisted Muscles is the melee one? I'm not sure. There's a couple other ones that'll be good. But yeah, I, I had to watch it all. It was really good. I love the show. Talked about it earlier. Uh, I'll eventually cut the little, I don't know, five or six minutes or whatever it was talking about it into a YouTube video. I'll put that out after the stream, if I remember. I have like 12 mutations on an character. Yeah, there's a lot that stack up for that, if I recall. But the thing is, I'm not going to want to grab all of them because I am a permadeath character. So there's that to keep in mind. But the one reason I need to go march or shopping is for more super. Like I can't even get over this fucking fence right now, dude. Like <laughs> that's how pathetic I am now on a new character. I can't even get over this fence. Like it's so bad. <sighs> Hopefully, oh, look at that. We got a little Google here chilling. Uh oh, he's falling onto the ground, buddy. There you are. Oh, he's hitting the wall. Well, don't worry, I'll. <laughs> Clean them up for you. Here's another one somewhere. Is he inside? Sounds like he's underneath it. Good thing I don't have a mutation, Jesus. They spawned inside, I guess. I don't know. Now, does his vendor outside or is it inside? It's pointing inside. Next, does this guy even have a vendor? Oh, it's not even marked on the map. He might not have a vendor, actually. Arrow checkeroo. He is a vendor. I will blow up you. Maybe you not have anything on it, though, it looks like. Considering it's not on the map to begin with. I mean, you can have your shit, like, unmarked on the map, right? But I don't know if he's gonna have anything. Looks like not. Okay, that's fine. We'll take your stims, though, buddy. 
Now I will litter by dropping off my ammo that I cannot use because I'm a melee person. Let's see, what do we got? Bowie knives, huh? Is that what the what this thing is? Or is it a combat knife? It is a Bowie. We could get some cool stuff for it. He didn't. Sell off the missile launcher. Alrighty. Be nice. Close the doors for him. Alright, Minerva. Not yeah, Minerva. That's what we're looking for. I hate as a bloody player entering those. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, for me, it's more like I have to be very careful once I actually start buying serums because uh, I can't get uh, starch genes until like level 30 or something, you know? Now, granted, double XP goes on for like another four or five days. So, and considering it's the start of my work week, I'll definitely hit that. Assuming the character lives, of course, because it's melee. We don't know, and I don't have any life saving pieces yet. Um, but, uh, it's quite possible that, uh, you know, we'll make it there and, uh, we'll just be able to grab that card nice and easy, you know? <clears throat> Shoes. I guess I could do golfer stuff. Miscellaneous side. Alright, Minerva. Give me my stuff. All found at prices that you've never seen. Do I have to start dancing to get her off of this? I might have to. Farmers only. <laughs> What a fucking username. <laughs> Those who don't know, because th that's probably only gonna fucking, uh, only, like, only U.S. people are probably gonna get that. And maybe only even, like, the southern half of the U.S. No, actually, like, might be, I don't even know, western half? I don't know. Uh, a lot of, anyways, Farmers Only is a dating website for farmers. I remember the stupid fucking jingle because I used to live out in the boonies growing up and I remember like it only started playing in the last like year or so before I moved out or maybe I remember whenever I visited home for like the holidays back then it would be on TV but fucking <laughs> farmers only is a fucking Welcome. farmers just dating website yeah <laughs> it's something all right chemist backpack boom okay we gotta actually do that stuff War Glaive is 2,000. Oh my god, that's a lot. I don't know if I'll get there. Yeah, I think it's, we're definitely better off getting this stuff. Okay, so um, let's do this real quick. Like the audio off. Audio is off. Beautiful. Season. Okay, let's look for the gold. Okay. Where is gold? Boom, gold bullion. Swing. Um, is there anything else I could be grabbing that'd be useful in this character? From the first few that we've unlocked. I already grabbed a lot of it. It's Fallout First. I wish I could just hide Fallout First stuff, because I don't care about that. Uh Scrip. Scrip on this character could be good. Let's save that for when we're actually crafting though. Because we don't actually know if we're going to live long enough to start crafting on this character. Oh, we even 46? We're not 46, I guess, to be fair. So there you go. Alright, we have everything that's useful. So we got the gold. Let's get the chemist backpack. Boom. Considering all the places I could have ended Did I not claim the gold? Hello? Lucky I'm here. I've never I, I claimed the gold. Why does it say zero? Bro, do I not have access to it on this character yet? 
They shouldn't have claimed my main. I'm on this character. God, I came all the way out here for fucking nothing, man. The problem is I'm not keeping track of my other characters as well. So 500 billion is like a drop in the bucket of my other characters. Uh, Does it go to your stash? Bullion isn't a physical item. I mean, other than like the quest in the fucking vault. Like it's a currency. That's why it shows up in your stats tab all the way over here. That's why there's a gold bullion tab. It's, it's not a physical item. Just like caps aren't a physical item. Like, well, no. Caps. Yeah, you can't drop caps. Once you grab them, they're just automatically collected into your currency, right? You can't drop stamps. You can't drop any of these things, you know? So, no, we we just got screwed. Sweet, thanks, game. Try to relog. I don't think relog is gonna do it. We can try. I don't think so. I think it's because I don't have access to gold bullion yet, honestly. Because you have to get access by doing the quest line to get that. But normally that's so that you can turn in the treasury notes for gold bullion. I feel like I have circumvented that once. Points have to go somewhere? No, they don't. This is Fallout 76, man. Like, don't get me wrong, I love the game, but there's still bugs here, you know? Introducing gold bullion. Okay, relogging looks like it didn't fix it. Ha ha! Oh god. Oh, give me away. I'm on a fresh character. I my last character died to a fucking bomb nuke. Get away from it. You're not pissed, right? Okay, I, I didn't do that. I mean, I technically did, but I didn't. Okay, so there's a bug. It's not even a 76 specific bug. There's a bug in Fallout 4. It's like an engine level bug, because I remember playing Frost and it would occasionally happen recently. Where sometimes when you load into an area, it'll just like auto kill mobs or robots. Well, that's what happened with this sentry bot. So that's why he started doing the whole like venting all the, the, the fucking flames and shit. That's like the death animation for these things. And the problem is, they also go nuclear when they blow up. And my last character died to a nuke from a robot. Now, it was from a legendary, but still, same thing. Now, can we get the chemist? Alright, beautiful. Cattle prod could be something. It's probably a one-hander, though, I think. How's that scavenging for food? Gauntlet could be something. Only got attacked by scorched I don't know if it's good. Once. I think I'd rather save the gold, honestly. I think I'd rather save it. This wanton robot tried to give me a haircut I guess I could look up the stats of the gauntlet. Shame. I can't get it to back by myself. Gauntlet. Level 40. Okay. Yeah. I don't know about that one. Is it an auto? Because it has a saw blade on it. Or do you actually punch with it? Why pay full price when you can buy my recreations at a discount? Uh, it's unarmed anyways, we don't care. We don't care about it. Okay. Actually, let's look up cattle prod. Cattle prod, wastelanders. One-handed, yep, okay, cool. Good thing we saved it. Right, let's go kill some uh, ghouls and get this little sub-quest done. Unarmed is nice because perks for melee and unarmed work on it? No. Perk cards? No. Well, I mean, yeah, some, like, the general ones, like, melee speed. But, like, stuff like Slugger? Slugger specifically two-handers. Uh, fucking Gladiator? Specifically one-handers. So, like, so, lo those perk cards? No. I mean, like, melee or, like, armor stuff or regular generic cards, sure, I guess, but... Forgotten melee weapons? What, the cattle prod or the gauntlet? I mean, the thing is, I don't really use those, you know? But, uh, I mean, they're on the list, so I was like, hey, fuck it, give it a try, you know? Oh my god, he does a lot. Stun 
five too. Jesus. Okay, you need to stop for a second. Hey, bud. No. Calm. Sit down. We can still one tap him with the fucking power attacks. We're doing okay. Boop. Learned. Suggested go to the golf club, and I said, go fuck yourself. Didn't I say that? I think it isn't like that. <laughs> I'm not using the golf club, man. Those things are terrible. Like, it's not that one-handed weapons can't be used. Actually, is this golf club one or two-handed? I don't know. I already have a good two-hander. I think if the golf club's a two-hander... I mean, come on. We've got a sledgehammer and it's instigating. Like, we're not going to beat that. Golf club, I'm pretty sure, just has way less base. It might have slightly higher swing speed. All right? We are not golfing. Okay? Now, if I get a god tier two or three star one of that, when, I'm a, when it's a max level version, I will reconsider. In the meantime, though, I'm good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're getting surrounded. <laughs> Can we get some grenades equipped? Woo! That was juicy. Please exit the area at your earliest convenience. Thank you for your cooperation. <laughs> golf club. Use a golf club. Listen, man, alright? The only way I want to use a golf club is if they let me go Happy Gilmore. Which means sprint up and, like, get a proper swing on it. We can't do that, alright? You swing it over here, right? Like a baseball bat. It's not the same. There's a cultist fucker. Surprise! Oh my god, he's got some HP. You gonna drop me something good like last time, buddy? Actually, I don't think he did. Oh my god, there's so many. Bull Slayer something. Bull Slayer's Raider right arm. Wow, wow. Oh wait, is that regular armor? It's not power armor. It's actually useful. Yeah, actually useful. Action point regen is huge for melee. Although it's only 5% actually, it's not great. Damage from ghouls is not bad though. I'll take that. It's just straight at upgrade. Yeah, sure. Ah! Speaking of armor. Hello. Oops, just a second. Right away and shit on them. I'm like one of those. Is this no mutation run? No. Read the title of the stream. Melee only. The roulette wheel was spun Tuesday on last stream when I died. And this fresh character was created. Hello. Please go away. Thank you. Oh my god, he's got some HP. Oh my god, he's hurting. Oh, he's hurting. I'm trying to heal. Stop and heal, please. Thank you. Okay, we ambush with the corner here. Oh my god, he's hitting me through a wall. Fuck off. Bro, he's hitting me with the fucking AoE scream as well. Oh my god, dude. Fuck off. I really wish you could actually get multi swings with the sl wide swing in this, you know? Then it'd make fucking two-handed amazing. Otherwise, it's like a chainsaw. This is a chainsaw you can kill fast, you know? Jesus. Christ almighty. There's your golf club, alright? You fucking happy, pseudo? Oh, look! I can't even use it! It's 25! 
fuck out of here with your fucking golf. It's a golf club that's 25 and it only does 47 damage. My sledgehammer, forget the instigating, does 58 at level 10. That's how bad the golf club is. It is 15 levels higher than the sledgehammer and it does 11 less damage. Okay? All right? Now, have we gotten the golf club out of our system yet? Fuck, this place sucked. No good drops. I think we got the sub quest done, I guess, so that's vaguely cool. Ooh. I will say, it is kind of nice, though, playing melee. Just because I don't have to constantly hold down the button right now, you know? I can just walk around and just fucking single click. Maybe a couple clicks tops, you know? I don't have to constantly hold the right click to aim. I don't have to loot all the weapons. I mean, I'll loot them for money right now because I need money, right? But, like, I don't have to loot the ammo either. Like, it is, it is nice. It, there is something to be said about melee only run. Golf club looks cool though. Bro, this is a sledgehammer. What do you mean? Gav, EQ, hammer it. Way more damage because of perks. EQ? What the fuck is EQ? Equalizer? This isn't a microphone, dog. This is a sledgehammer. Whipped. Yeah. 58. It's not equipped. It updates everything in your inventory. Also, 10% extra damage isn't gonna give me much. Like, I could unequip Slugger. There you go. Yappy. No perk cards. 44. 54. It's still a 10 point difference. It becomes 11 once I actually fucking put the card on. Oops. See? 47. 58. 11 point difference. Right. Two cards, though. What do we got? Guess I'm good for me? Because we can get Traveling Pharmacy turned off now. We could pump a lot of that other stuff. Um, Barbarian is adds damage to this. That's, we don't really care about that. It's not good. Slugger, Gladiator... So I'm, let me think back to my build here. Let's see, let's, let's actually look up the chainsaw. Chainsaw. 76. Does it scale with strength? It does 5% per strength. Okay, so strength does help it. Um. Honestly, from this build, it looks like... So this is the, the tentative build. It looks like we have one point of Master Slugger, three incisor, which is the armor. Blocker, which is less damage from melee. Um, martial artists, which is swing speed, expert slugger, regular slugger. That's only 12 points. So we can get three points. So we could do two points in every card to get us the last little bit, which wouldn't be terrible, I think. I think we do that. Um, let's see. What, what levels do we get to the other cards? Expert slugger is level 15, which we're not there yet. Artist is 16, blocker is 21, insides is 34. Master's 35. Okay, so... Well, as I said, 15 was the next one, right? Hey, there you go. We can get one of them. So let's get... Basic Slugger, I guess, to do this one up to two. Then we get another one, and we should be... Expert Slugger. I think it was 58 before. 69, giggity. <laughs> Slow is the speed of spectrum and clubs faster? Nah, I don't think so. I don't think I think it's categories. I mean we could try it. I don't think so though. I, I can't actually we can't try it. We can't actually. I, I have to be level 25. So never mind. I don't think it's I don't I don't think so. I'm pretty sure it's just like straight up a lower tier weapon. I've never seen or heard of this, but 76 Wookiee has a war drum. Shit sounds insane. It's stupid. It's slow. It's ugly. 
it's uh one of the like big melee weapons that the super mutants can carry. It's like a, a a fucking drum, like a snare drum that's on the end of like a giant club, or at the end of like a some a, some kind of shaft, like the fucking what we have here, you know, and the uh, sledgehammer. It's something like that. And it has like a bunch of spikes hanging off the end of it. It's it's so derpy looking. It's just no. It's a super mutant weapon. It's not good. This guy have serums? He does not. Okay. Well. You know, let's have a look to see if he's got life saving. Not that. Oh. Well, I didn't want to shop there, anyways. <laughs> yeah, it's this, but with a giant spiked drum on top. It's a musical melee weapon? Yeah, basically. I don't know if it actually makes special noises, by the way. I don't think any of them do. But, uh, yeah, there's like a guitar sword, there's also the death tambo he's talking about, so like, yeah, there's, there's a couple, you know. Ooh. Friendly, right? Super mutant skirmisher, I mean... I don't want to hit them because there's robots nearby, so we're not going to. Maybe we'll let the robots die first. Saltron dead? Saltron's going at it, but Saltron's going down. Alright. Okay, the, mo the molly didn't get me. We're good. These guys are hurting, though. Jesus. Okay, we're gonna pull back. There's a little too many. Yeah, I didn't want to run in there and hit one of those super mutants while the robots were there, because if I procced my melee perk, it would have been real bad. Even the board does more damage than the club, alright? A fucking 2x4 that has, like, it's not good quality because it's splintered like a motherfucker. This does more damage than your fucking golf club, okay? Just let that one sink in, alright? Listen, man, I'm all for the golf club, all right? I get it. The aesthetic, it's funny, all right? But, uh, it's just not good. It's just not good. AP cost 33, not 44. Uh, let's see. AP cost 40. 40. Yeah, it has the same AP cost as well. Like, it doesn't even cost less AP. I mean, sure, it, weigh, it doesn't weigh 12 pounds. Ooh la la. You know? Yeah, I know you're talking about the board, but I you you mentioning AP cost made me check out uh, the sledge, you know? I like to power fist or bear arms run in melee. You mean bear fist? Because bear arms is the uh, the perk card that gives you less heavy weapon carry weight. Ooh, hello. Legendary sheep squatch, level 30. Um chat. I don't want to do it. My psycho still running? Yes, it is. How are you not taking damage? He's still doing the wake up animation. God damn it, man. Oh my god, he's got a lot of HP. Okay, he's not taking damage from that at all. I need to take you to the White Springs, buddy. Can you follow me? I need to have some robots kill you so I can have the legendary out of you. Because even one star, uh, because I'm a melee character, even a one star is good. Because it could be instigating. And that's all you really need as a melee character until you're like min maxing shit. Coming? He's coming. Listen, this might be a bad idea, chat, okay? I might get fucked up, but we gotta try it. You know? Okay, where's the rest of the There's more robots up this way. Here, more over there, but I'm gonna take him up the hill this way, because these should be slightly closer. Coming? Oh, he's coming! Oh, he's coming! Oh, Jesus! Oh, my stamina! Oh, 
Okay, we're fine. Luckily, his fucking uh, needle throws do fuck all damage. Enraged roar. Oh, God. Did you not? Oh, my God. His fucking needle sometimes hits you with a fucking slow proc. Come on. Bro, there we go. Holy shit. I just, like, jumped to get out of it. It gets you with, like, a weird, like, snare. And it's not fun. We gotta keep losing them by hitting the fucking trees. Come on, come on, come on. Robots! Robots! Please tell me there's a fucking bunch of robots right here. I should have taken them the other way, man. Oh no. No! They're mole miners and they're level 45. Oh my god, this this entrance is fucking useless. Okay. Um you know, I guess we're just gonna kite them all the way to the main entrance. There's a lot of ro robots over there. <laughs> I'm only level 15, I've been off more than I could chew, chat. Chief Squatches already take a fucking way less damage because they're a fucking boss mob. But this one's also legendary, which means he has 160% normal HP. Hey, bud. Ah. Hey, level 16. Come on, bud. Come on. Plan. I have a pl Oh my god, there's a death claw. He's level 60. Oh, Jesus, fight each other, please. Please, please. Oh, let's go. The death claw. Oh my god, we did it, chat. <laughs> Blow up the cars now. Get him. Come on, death claw. Get him. Yes. Yes. This is so good. Deathclaw versus Steve Squatch. <laughs> I really hope that Nuke's not coming down on me because I don't want to check right now. Dude, he is not doing shit to the Sheep Squatch. A level 30 Sheep Squatch versus a 60 fucking glowing Deathclaw. And the Sheep Squatch is winning. Oh no. I thought the Deathclaw would have him, man. Attention, citizens. Buddy. Nuclear what's going on? Please exit the area at your Here, let me, let me get a little bit of some of that on top. Thank you. There we go. I'm gonna try and hit like just the sheep squash. There we go. Gotta be ready to run in case they fucking hit. Ah. Oh no! Please attack him, not me! Oh, oh, oh. oh we got so lucky. That fucking. Melee proc going off next to a car could have killed me, but luckily though, I guess it didn't hit the truck the the bus the cars don't have engines So they didn't blow up. Okay, that could have been really bad This perk might get me killed you watching these two like circle each other. This is great, man Come on death claw. I believe in you here. I'll, I'll even help out a little bit a little more. Yeah Yeah, look at that headshot. Come on, man. I believe in you. I don't believe him, Chad. Oh. Oh. oh god, okay, we're fine. It's just the AoE stomp that has a stagger approach attached to it, okay? The Sheep Squatch has a stagger. Let's see, I'm walking super slow as well, which was super fucking annoying. You gotta jump to like break it usually. But yeah, the Sheep Squatch has like a jump ground pound that has a stagger and it's just not fun. Because, uh, especially on melee build, I can't really run away. Well, he's going to give me a lot of XP at least. Because that's level 60 I've tagged. Oh, buddy. Oh, he's running. Oh, he's running. Don't come for me. Come on, Deathclaw. Oh, buddy. Please keep going. Come on, man. I don't have like a bunch of grenades and shit to throw. I only got like a handful left, you know? Like, I gotta save those for other things. 
I do like that we managed to kite him all the way up to a fucking death claw. 700 XP. Damn. All right, buddy. You coming? Oh, he's still aggroed. Oh, he's still aggroed. Okay, we gotta stay away from the vehicles. Don't want him to blow up those on me. Coming? Oh, he's coming. Oh, he's coming. <laughs> Please, robots, save me. Oh, he's still here. Robots! Please! Somebody! Oh, robots! Robots! I gotta stay, I gotta get, I gotta be, you gotta rush. Come on. Oh, he's real close. I'm going upstairs. I'm going upstairs. Yes! Yes! Murder! Uh, okay, that's a little weird. Where's your clothes, lady? You know what? I'm not even gonna complain. She's helping out. There's another one? Why are, they, why are all the responders, like, in their underwear? Whatever, man. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait, how did that thing die? He didn't even hit it! How did that one die? Oh, he's awake. Okay, he was just on, he was on cooldown. Okay, he was, he was, he overheated. Okay, he's fine. He's chilling. They're going after fucking ghouls now. Don't go after the ghouls. Quit shooting the ghouls. Go for the fucking sheep squatch, dude. Bro, rotate. There you go. They have a crawler of a fucking ghoul over there. That one's like giving him a hard time. Uh oh, he's gonna blow up the bus. I gotta back up a little bit, maybe. Also, I got hit with a stagger up here. Bro, are they gonna kill this one? Okay, I think they got him. Although, that sentry's getting smashed. He's on cooldown. He's not dead. He's fine. Oh, there we go. More reinforcements. There we go. Get him with the buzz saws. Come on. They're swinging. Come on. No one's got a flamethrower, huh? She's got full auto, at least. Oh, hey, look, she got clothes now. She's like, oh, this is serious. I should probably get dressed, huh? Vehicles are starting to go off everywhere. <laughs> he hit me with the AOE stomp, so I'm slow, so I can't even get away easily. But y'all gotta finish him off, please. Uh oh, did he kill him? Or no, he's just on cooldown still. He's good. Come on, buddy. There we go. Okay, I'm just gonna chill here for a little bit. I'm just gonna chill here. Let everyone calm down. Then I'll go loot the body. <laughs> Easy? Yeah, that was great. I'm glad I made the decision to, uh. Quest XP for Death Call? Yeah, he's level 60. <clears throat> okay. No more explosions. The boss ain't gonna go up. We're good. Oh, bro, I did all that for a junkie's board. Bro, come the fuck on, man. What a slap in the face. Hey, that that's a good piece of armor, though. Ah, uh, that was not worth what? doing, man. <laughs> I'm gonna be real. That much time wasted was not worth it. Okay, dude. guy's body still here? Yes, it is. Yeah, I know I can drink water. Oh, you know, you're right. No, that's a good water. <clears throat> yeah, I know the water is here, but I thought you were telling me I was diseased. Because if you're not aware, Go to the White Springs chat if you don't have a disease cure for your character. And the sulfur water fountain here is one of the only sources, it might be the only source in the game, of how you can cure a disease without uh, fucking your character up. Although I guess it does give me rads. It's not many. But uh, yeah, the sulfur water fountain cures diseases. 
I don't know why it's there. It doesn't give you many rads. But, uh, yeah. Good way to ever clear a disease if you don't have disease uh, cures in your inventory. Heals something also. Yeah, I don't. I didn't have the disease that needed to get cured. But you're right. Uh, it was easy, free top up instead of having to uh, drink my own water. Uh, Chunky Turtle. Appreciate the prime. Take a month. Thank you. Uh, Pseudo gifted out a sub earlier to Rob. I uh, thank you as well. I missed that one, I think. Because I was in the middle of some shit. But thank you. Appreciate everyone hanging with me today. Uh, I'm enjoying the shit out of this. Uh, I mean, it's permadeath, you know? I love me some permadeath in general. Ooh, hello, big boy. Let's go, uh... Oh, there's a suicider running past. Okay, we don't want to hit... Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, we have to use grenades for that one. Uh, we have grenades. Okay. Let's see if we can nail the suicider. Got him. Okay, good. I can handle the rest of y'all. Ooh, he's, he's, he's higher level. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Come on. Come on, there we go. Oh, see, that's what I like. I like when the AoE proc happens and just shh, kills the rest of them. That's good shit. <sighs> All right, well, minigun is... We're gonna grab it to sell, but the ammo is useless. But, uh... Yeah, appreciate everyone who's been hanging out today. Um, I, I was honestly not happy with the melee build uh, when I first got it, you know? Because, uh... I inherited one item from my previous character that I randomly rolled, and then we got the explosive dragon, which I wanted to fuck with. But you know what? I'm okay with this. I'm okay with the uh, melee build, you know? The sledgehammer's gonna definitely carry me for a bit until I get the chainsaw later today. Hopefully I get it today. I'm assuming I will. This has been fun, though. I, I remember enjoying the last time I did a melee character as well, so... I do appreciate y'all tuning in today. Now, we ain't going nowhere, by the way. I'm gonna be going for a, a bit more today, at least. We're only, like, four hours in. Ooh. Jump. Oh, we can make this. We'll be fine. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah. Appreciate everyone who's been hanging out. Does this game have stealth melee stuff, like backstab? Uh, backstab's not really a thing in Fallout games in general. There are stealth, like, components you can add in, right? Like, there's armor that'll make it so you can stealth better. Uh, there's armor that'll give you, like, an active cloak when you're moving, if you have, like, a full-on stealth suit. There's armor pieces that'll let you stealth if you're crouched and not moving. There's a mutation that'll let you do that instead of having to wear armor, but you have to have no armor on. Um, and then there's also cards that will e give you extra damage, uh, in stealth. There's cards that'll actually give you extra melee damage in stealth. There's cards that'll let you sneak better. There's cards that'll let you... Um, lose enemies by just crouching and therefore sneaking because you can see I'm crouching by the little hidden thing It says at the top of the screen right there it says hidden now nothing It says hidden because there's no one that can see me right now if there was somebody that could see me It'd be caution and then if they actually know I'm there It'll say danger if it's danger. You're not gonna have your stealth damage bonus, which is usually a two times damage bonus So there is st there is stealth damage bonuses and there is stealth melee bonuses and then there are cards you can do to kind of lean that way so if you want to do a stealth melee build you definitely can but there's no like backstab mechanic and i don't think that's been in any of the games there is something in older games uh that if you get like mr sandman perk i think in fallout 4 and i think it's the same in 3 um you can actually stealth kill mobs by just hitting e on them if they're sleeping right but that's not really a backstab mechanic, right? That's a... The character's sleeping, boom, they're dead, you know? So, if you want to go melee stuff, you can, but backstab's not a thing. But you could, you know, run whatever melee weapon you want and then just run around in stealth. Because there like, there's like a stealth suit that... The stealth suit lets you actively stay cloaked while you're walking. Crouched, of course, like this, right? That's what my last character used, actually. It was not melee, but I was using the stealth suit. That was fun. But yeah, there's a lot of different ways you can make a, a build stealth, melee or ranged. You can get double damage hitting from stealth? Yep. You can up that to, I think, times three damage as well. Because the you can ch up your damage, because stealth damage, but in general, regardless of what type it is, should always give you a times two multiplier, assuming they haven't like been alerted to your presence, right? Um, but... 
with ranged, you can slowly tweak that up to 2.5 damage max from ranged stealth. However, if you use uh, melee, I'm pretty sure it's a times three multiplier. I'm pretty sure it's the ninja perk. I could be wrong. But uh, pretty sure that's what that one is. So yeah, if you want to do like stealth melee, you can, but actual like walking up and like hitting E to kill somebody, not, not a thing. Hopefully that's a good enough answer for you. That's about all there is to get into it. See, now you're making me look up the card. Ninja. No, it's three times. Sneak attacks with melee do times three. I'm looking at the card right now. The first level of the card is 2.3, then 2.6, then three. So no, I was right. It's a 3x multiplier. Unless they've changed it and for some reason Nukes and Dragons is wrong, which would be really weird. That they changed it, not that Nukes and Dragons are wrong. I mean, Nukes and Dragons have been out forever, so that'd be really weird for them. Yeah, I'm not going across that to uh, get to other stuff. I'll take those to sell, though. Ooh, Psycho. Do need to have a cookout soon. I think we go take a detour over to the uh, Rusty Picket and we'll uh, Rusty Pick, Rusty Pick. What is it? Is that what it called? Or is it Picket? I don't know. I can't see it. Uh, <clears throat> we're gonna detour over here and do some cooking real quick. I need to check fucking player houses though, because we need to find fucking serums in this character, man. I need my serums. Like I guess we can keep doing quests to earn money, but still. Yeah, 76 is free with Prime Gaming. I'm, I'm actually gonna use that and claim a second copy. <laughs> it's a Microsoft account, so it's not Steam, sadly, which is what my version is, but that's good. Be uh, while I am gonna have to maintain a second download of the game, uh, I can use that as a Mule account. I can actually uh, log in and trade because it's not both, it's not gonna require a Steam account. It means I can fucking, I'll just, I can literally have both copies probably running at the same time. Because I'm pretty sure the Windows Attention Store citizens. uses a completely separate Nuclear install. Strike imminent. Please exit the area at your earliest convenience. Thank you for your cooperation. If I wanted to, I could use it as a separate, like, permadeath only account. So I wouldn't have, uh, legendary perk cards. But. My biggest thing it, with that is <clears throat> every time I'm playing, like I'm slowly working on daily challenges, and even if I not, even my daily challenge is over, I'm still slowly getting XP. Therefore, I'm doing this one and constantly getting 100 score. So I'd rather keep leveling up the score on this account. So if I die once I've gotten to like rank 100 for a season, then I'd be like, okay, sure, you know, I'm not getting anything past 100. Why not, you know? But, yeah. I mean, it's freebie, so why not, you know? If you nuke kills you, do you delete your character? I do. Which is why I typically, not always, but I typically check my map whenever someone drops a nuke. Because someone did, earlier, uh, on a different server, nuke some guy's house over here. Most of the time, they're going to be right down here. Which means they're spawning a world boss. Or they're going to be right here, which is spawning a world boss. Or they're going to be up here, spawning a world boss. They do, like, people can drop them pretty much anywhere. I think this section is, like, the starting area. Therefore, it's off limits. But everything else is fair game. So when I was at the airport earlier, when a, new, a notification popped up, I'd check the map. Because they could get me. Which means I have to start running. Because I can't fast travel if you look at my rules on top left. I, ha I would just have to start running. I have yet to have to run from a nuke still. Which 
I'm not gonna lie, it would be funny to have to run. To lose a character would twit would suck. Um, but, uh, have yet to do that. But that's half the fun of why I play on the public servers, is running the risk of running into that. We're gonna sell those. We don't need those. Doo -doo -doo. We were gonna cook. That's why we came here. Duh. But we probably have some garbage to sell. Ooh, ooh. Fresh character. You know what? That meow. What serum do I want most? Marsupial. Marsupial's insanely useful for any perma character. I mean, it's insanely useful for any player, just full stop. But for permadeath, because that's primarily in what I play and stream, obviously, uh, it's <clears throat> it's definitely what's needed because I need to be able to jump up and get away from mobs, right? Because a lot of the threats in Fallout 76, at least, are um, mobs that... Uh, hurt in melee. Don't get me wrong, you can get fucked with range, but range, I feel like, has been nerfed a little bit <clears throat> compared to, to what it could be, because they want to at least give you a chance to run for cover, so they don't let you get one shot. I've definitely been one shot in melee. No, don't get me wrong, I have been one shot in range as well, but that's because I was like, I beam Assaultron shit, which gives you a charge up and the whole area glows red, so it means get cover, you know? Melee, it's like, it, uh, it can fuck your shit up, you know? So... Being able to like, and especially now that I'm also a melee character, I need to be able to like, oh look, a death claw is running at me. If I could jump up, I can't even jump up this. I can't even jump up this. Like if this door was locked, I couldn't even like get my way out. I have to like parkour onto like this thing and like hope for the best. I can't even, can I even do this? I have to like do here and then here. I can parkour my way up and get there, right? Or I can just doing and go all the way over the wall with one jump. So marsupial is the most useful, hands down. There's like, there's no competition with that one. Glowing meat. Hmm. I can get a bonus out of that? I guess we have to make, like, the better recipe, maybe? I gotta look what that is. Because there's supposed to be like, recipes for good meat now. I remember there was, like, a cooking update a long time ago where they made it so, like, good meat recipes could last for, like, an hour. You only need to craft, like, one meat buff, you know? I might have to start doing that. Let's see here. Grab the wood. I know I'm out of meat, obviously, but I can still look at the recipes, I think. Food, glowing meat, steak. Melee damage. Okay, so it requires four glowing meats. Okay. Huh. Yeah. Four, is that it's either 40 minutes or 40%? I don't know. HP buff as well. Yeah, glowing meat steaks are huge. Ribeyes, carry... I think it's just glowing. Oh, hang on. Mutton chops are actually pretty good, too. Light mutton chops. Have a little bit of melee damage. Okay. We're gonna get some out of this thing. Okay. Okay, so it's mostly glowing. Uh, glowing or, uh, mutton. Okay. Interesting. Is it 30 minutes? I guess I haven't popped it yet. Thirty minutes, cool. One HP a second. Wow, for thirty minutes, that's actually pretty good. Twenty percent melee damage. I mean, that's pretty good. That's still pretty good. When I'm using instigating, it helps out a lot. Seventy-seven. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. A level. Let's see. We don't need this thing anymore. Oh, you know what we do? We have to go inside and put it on. Let's go equip that. Real quick here. Probably make it better. Oh, are we level 20? Uh, maybe we make a level 10 backpack, I guess. Imagine if all people on the server are hardcore, one life players. Yeah, that'd be crazy. 
which is why an official mode would be cool. I'd still prefer them to put in a PvP mode instead, but an official mode would be good, but I, I feel like an official mode wouldn't have enough rules, personally. Because obviously, I, I, the, the amount I have on the left side, plus my own rules on top of that, like that's that's a fair bit, you know? Requires plastic? Oh, you bitch. Okay. Fuck. Fine. That's annoying. Fine, we gotta keep it equipped for now. Wait, hang on, there's probably plastic down here, man. Right, there's probably gotta be plastics. Plastic? No plastic. No plastic. Nope. Steel worker's hat? Bro, that, that's, like, sure, there's steel on the inside, but, like, that, come on. That's not the entire thing's plastic. All right, whatever. So need more. Let's see. What do we got around here? Miner's lamp? I don't know if that has in it, but maybe it'll have it. What do we got down here? I haven't been down this part in a long time. Chaw? Nope. Pfft, leather and cloth. Bro, that thing's made of plastic, man. Hmm. Casual assault, Tron just chilling. A vault dweller, huh? Oh, shit. What, what vault are you from, buddy? Four? V? What is V? What number is that? It looks like a K. Can we push him out of the chair? Hey, move. Keep moving forward, buddy. for the show? No, 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 no. This, there's no way they updated this area for the show. Also, spoiler. Shh. Show has not even been out fucking two full days, dog. V is for five? Yeah, but they don't... There's no way they fucking put Roman numerals for the first handful. Because we know from... Actually, no. Yeah, no, there's no point. They don't use Roman numerals. There's no way. So what is that? Like, there's no way that's a V. Like, get him out of the seat, or is he just trapped in there? I think he's like bolted in at one point. I want to know what fucking vault this guy is from. It looks like a Y. This is annoying, man. I wish this was fucking regular Fallout 4 so I could actually like lift the corpse off, you know? Wish.com suit? Yeah, seriously. Ah, plastic pumpkin, beautiful. Huh. I don't think that's enough plastic from the pumpkin. We'll see. It's really annoying. I want to see what fucking vault suit this guy's wearing. But he's not, like, sliding forward. They had him forward a little bit, whatever. Looks like a Y. But this visitor? Again, I don't think they put V on a visitor. I'm, I want to know what that is on the back of that thing. Is on the badge on the front? I don't think the badge on the front shows. On the show, they have like collar numbers, right? But I don't think they do in game ever. I think that's like a show specific thing. And the badge also never has anything on them, right? So it's not that at all. Tommy bot thing have plastics? Uh Tommy bot thing. Tommy bot. Oh, up here, the whacker smacker? Tommy whacker. Hmm. I don't really care if it has 
plastic or not in it. What we do have is something else to whack this guy with. Grenade him? True. Okay, he definitely moved forward a fair bit. So we can see again. Looks looks like a V or a K or something. Eh, I think we I think we need grenade in this bitch. <gasps> VT! He's from Vault Tech! Oh, see? Y'all thought it was just a V. Uh -uh. Interesting, so he's a worker. Huh. Alright then. Weird. Wackakami? Yeah. Wackakami. It's a, uh, it's like whack a mole. Kind of busted here. There's a working one at the Nuka World on tour. That's called the Whack or Kami Whacker. I think the game is called Whacker Smacker. I'm not sure. Maybe not. Could be wrong. Doesn't matter. We got. We actually have enough still. Maybe I thought this got the game. Maybe it's called Wackakami. I don't know. Maybe I think it might just be Wackakami. Mod chemist. Damn it, man. We got one mod, one plastic out of that. What a load of shit. That's annoying. All right. Well, we'll have to find more elsewhere. Unless there's some upstairs. Hello. Probably not it. Coffee pot, coffee pot, ceramics and shit. I think there's plastics in those, but we'll grab it. Either. Yeah, there's not a lot of materials in here. Kind of to be expected, to be fair. All right, whatever. We'll uh, make it in a little bit. We gotta just gather some plastics as we go. Turn around. Blue plastic jug by the benches, bro. Doesn't make me go through that long of a fucking load screen again. If it's not there, you're getting a timeout. Better be a lot. Benches, huh? Oh, that's the me downstairs, you said, right? Blue jug, huh? Ah, oh, look at that. Oh, there's multiple. Good call. I don't know how I missed those. Two plastic from that one. One plastic from that. Oh, that's enough, baby. That's enough. Well done. The gas can. Eh, we don't need. There's no plastic in it. Doesn't matter. We got what we needed. Chemist, baby. Yes. Saving. That shit. I mean, the gas canister. I guess we could scrap it, but the gas canister. See, only has steel and oil. See. Well, I didn't go for that initially, but I totally didn't see the fucking coolants. Those were the key. Sure. Now, we unequip this, because we don't need it anymore. Now we have three extra points. And we put another one in. Martial artist, swing speed, yes! This is this is huge, because swing speed is what we fucking need on the two-handers. I mean, melee weapons weighing less is nice and all, like, but uh, yeah, we need what we need is the other shit, you know? We also need to change. We don't like this extra perception is useless. All right, cool. We're running right along. Good first day on this character. Cause I say first day, cause technically the other stream, like, come on, we made the character and we walked like two feet out of the vault, and that was it, you know. Still got more to go. You see the antifreeze there? Ah, you did. Good on both of you. Appreciate you. So that was enough. Now we don't have to deal with the backpack bullshit. Find it later. Alrighty. Continuing on. Let's see. Any bases nearby? Food, plans, explosive. No. We're looking for people selling serums. There's not a lot of bases right now, man. I think we gotta do a server hop. I think we do it. Since we're right here, we're at the fucking pick. We're 
So I think we just do one hop, and then we'll see what the next server gets us. Because uh, we're trying to find serums right now. Even if we don't find all of them, because we can find, we can get a lot that'll be useful. I want to try and get a marsupial today if I can. Although, since we're in the area, we're in the was it north southwest corner of the map. I want to drop over with Camden and see if we can get lucky with a chainsaw flamer. Getting that mod would be key. Because that is a huge damage boost for a chainsaw. Huge damage boost. I think I can just start using them because I think chainsaws start at 15. Let's see. Fresh server. Miscellaneous. Maybe. Although I think it actually shows up as aid. I think someone actually proved me wrong a while back and actually shows up as aid. There are not that many bases right now, man. Level 8. Brand new level 2. 250. 20. Five. So you can start level 20, by the way. These are these are new characters. These are new people to the game. On one hand... Oh, okay, those are high levels. On one hand, it's nice to see a lot of new people... Oh, another new person. It's nice to see new people flooding into the game. On the other hand, it means... Uh, I can't get my vendors. I need to fucking find my serums. Fuck. This difficulty level while the game's free-to-play right now, because it's free-to-play for the next week. And then on top of that, a bunch of people are probably just claiming free copies with Prime. Which, guess what? If you have the, if you watch the TV show, you have Prime, most likely, you know? Unless you're sailing the high seas. So that means uh, there's a lot of people who could potentially be playing the game right now. Which is good, but if they fill up servers, and I'm like the only person who actually knows what he's doing, that means I can't be buying serums. And there ain't no way I'm gonna ever get a character through all the parts of, like, doing a nuke to get the materials to make my own serum. We have to buy them. Is this the same server? This is the same fucking server. God damn it, man. Uh, can returning people start there too? I've been meaning to try an energy weapon build. What, start at the vault? Well, if you have an existing character, no. I mean, you can start a new character. So what they have is essentially is they changed it so whenever you, ah, uh, fuck, I take off my scratch. Uh, if you start a new character, you have the option essentially when you're walking out of the vault, if you want to start at level 20 with a bunch of cards and some gear, towards whatever build it selects, or you can start level one. Obviously, permadeath, I start level one. But if you start level 20, it gives you like a handful of gear and like a starter weapon and like whatever. Cause like, there's like three archetypes you can pick when you come out at level 20. Um, so they'll give you like appropriate gear for that spec essentially. Oh, there we go. Uh. I'm not seeing aid on any of these. <sighs> Nobody's got any aid. Build that way. Um, you can also respec, to be fair. If you have an existing character, you can just use a respec machine. Because they added those in quite a long time ago. But uh, there are machines that will let you like respec your cards... Uh, not your cards. It lets you respect your special points so you can change cards around. But yeah, energy weapon builds are just, like, there aren't cards specific, like Fallout 4 in other games. There aren't cards in 76 for specifically energy weapons. Now, you can definitely make a build that uses energy weapons, or primary, like, only uses them, but you know, there aren't cards specific for energy weapons in this. Ooh, here we go. Weapons, 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 no, miscellaneous. How many miscellaneous is it? Stims? Meds. Here we go. That guy's camp. We're going up there. Okay, hopefully he's got some. So we go up here. Let's finish this one real quick. Get this quest done, then we'll head north. I kind of want to head there right now, but I've not played in like years. I think I had like a 75 character. Yeah, you might want to. I don't know. That's the thing. Like, being a 75 means you're going to have legendary perks equipped, right? Which means you're going to have at least one of these slots available, which is pretty good, you know? Um, they might have changed actually how much, how quickly you get these. But yeah, there's a, these are a bunch of cards that are 
different you can change those around however much you want but like changing your actual special stats you can tweak these at any train station there's a little terminal that's let you respect now those gonna be pouring down you can also build one of those in your base you don't have to go to one of those so you can just you know respec and have different builds whenever you want like most people like at least myself uh the way i do it like on my main characters when i'm playing those is i'll have like my main like playing the game build and then if i ever need to go crafting or repair shit i'll just swap via the thing and then i'll be able to suddenly craft stuff for cheaper and better and so on you know but yeah you, with the, the respecting you can experiment as much as you want you just need the gear because you already got the levels which means for you you potentially already have all the cards you want to get at least a good starting with your setup you only start at level 20 when you make a new character well you can start at level 1 or 20 i should say but if you pick uh, you know, starting at the other spot, it's gonna, you know, you're not that much of a step up. Level 75 is definitely gonna be pretty far in there, you know? damage hmm that's kind of cool yeah yeah oh it's a swing huh stab swing stab 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 not gonna lie the spear's kind of cool I'm still a sludge main but that's cool it'll keep it it's probably better than the knife realistically Chased by a cockroach? I think I am. Rad roach, whatever. Take the 44 to sell it. Can you actually get those desserts in the machine? Yes, I have. Quite a few times, actually. God. Actually, I think getting one of those and just making it a YouTube short on its own, I think that actually might be my most viewed shorts clip. <laughs> now, it's not to say it's a lot, because it's not. It's only like, I don't know, 16K <clears throat> views, something like that, but that's still, you know, I mean, it's some. Now I'm curious. Now I gotta know. Shorts. Two. No, it is not my most viewed. It's only had 12.5k views, but you know, I, I did get it. Oh, that was posted before I had fucking ad revenue on i've made since views since then i've made 0 0.001 so not even a full cent i've made a tenth of a cent off of it because no one's watched it maybe like one person's watched it since uh i got ad revenue that's funny fucking youtube algorithm man Oop, there's a legendary dude around here. I saw the fucking glowing ghouls. There's a legendary fucking, uh, whatchamacallit. Oh yeah, look at that. They got the Mothman buff and shit. I don't know what it does, though. I'm assuming it's like... Actually, no, I need to look that up. I'm actually really curious now. Oh, hello, bobblehead. Oh, boy, too. 
pick up Mothman Equinox. Okay, uh... Oh, this is... Night of the Moth update. There we go. Hmm. No. I don't know what the- I guess we have to look up the name of the dude and we'll look at it from there. Ooh, he's a three star. Legendary cultist high priest. Okay. Need you to Cultist high priest. Ah, oh, it's a black powder pistol. That's annoying. Oh, well, it's a three star, so that's a lot of script at least. So, was it Cultist High Priest? Cultist High Priest. Pack. Okay. Cultist High Priests. Okay. Uh, Cultist High Priests exhibiting <laughs> background characteristics. Um, let's just look up buff. Control F buff. Buff is nothing. Okay. Figure out what that buff does. Okay, uh, these cultists have the ability to bend the will of any nearby enemy, similar to the Flatwoods monster. The minions are marked with a pale red aura and tiny spectral red moths all around. The ability stands okay. What does bend them to the will? What does that mean? The police have a chance to replace most mobs. Okay, yeah, so it just, I guess it just says bends them to the will. But the thing is, they still fight most of the time, so I don't really know what he's actually doing. <laughs> so, uh, okay. Maybe he, maybe some of the ones around him don't fight him? I don't know. It's, it's kind of weird. You know? Whatever. Hello. I gotta pay attention, because one of these fuckers killed me with my last character. Because he was legendary, and I wasn't paying attention. Swing did get him. Oh, I hear the Grafton monster on the other side of the wall. I've seen a high priest control scorch and attack ghouls. Yeah, I don't, I don't. The thing is, I've definitely seen like the dudes who were influenced. I thought at least that were attacking him recently. I could be wrong. I very well could be wrong, but I thought they could still attack him. But maybe it's just like you know, if they have nothing left to fight, they'll fight him but the influenced ones will fight their homies instead. I don't know. Doesn't really matter. It just means I get extra shit around all the place, which is fine with me. Speaking of extra shit. What did we get out of that? He got... Cultist Elder Helmet and Robe. Oh, baby. We big pimping now, chat. Look at me. No, I'm good.
Right, we gotta go up here and check this guy's camp before he disappears and logs off. Oh, I hear another one. I hear the fucking, the... I can hear the fucking... The sizzling? I don't know, whatever the, the weird popping noise of the fucking moths around a dude. Which means someone around here is influencing them, which means there's a fucking legendary chilling. That noise right there. Yep, see? Hey, bud. Where's your homie at that influenced you? Ooh. There you are, Mr. Two Star. Ooh, that was a big hit. The first attack being a power attack? Yeah, buddy. I should look up what those priest packs do. What, what can they drop? One stim, 15% chance for a second one. One psycho, one mentats, chance for a cultist, 25% chance for the set. Up to 46 camps, 5% 5, 5 chance for an egg, one mothman egg, or oh, for a perfect mothman egg. What's a perfect mothman egg? Uh, chance for any additional stims, chance for up to six stims, and grenades. Okay, so they don't have anything good in these packs. They're just random little goodie bags. They have, like, no big anything. Um... Perfect Mothman egg doesn't look like it's for anything special. Don't care. All right, cool. Moving on. Yeah, I was checking because uh, normally, like the Holiday Scorched or the Spooky Scorched or the Treasure Hunters, you know, all of those like have chances of dropping like plans and potentially rare plans, right? But uh, it would appear as if these are just random little goodie bags of Garbo. So, nothing special out of them. Psycho, Mentats, Mothman Egg, Purified Water. I don't know, if, can I cook up the Mothman Eggs into like an omelet? That'd be cool. Yeah, either way, it's like, you know, I get a little bit of goods. I get stims, I get caps, I get other stuff, so it's like, it's a nice little goodie bag. You know, I'll take them, right? No point not, but... Sadly, it doesn't look like they're really giving us anything amazing like the uh, treasure hunters or spooky or holiday scorched, etc. You know, but eh, whatever. Yeah, I was already checking when you asked, but you know. Same wavelength. Right the fuck off. the AP regen honestly like the extra resists aren't that great I mean I guess that's damage from scorched which uh, I think I'd prefer the AP regen still though alrighty now where are we going does it not lead me anywhere else I guess that was it for that quest huh hmm alright well We'll start the fire breather shit in a second. I gotta go north before that fucking base is, like, that dude logs off. I wanna see if he's got a serum. Cause that'd be real nice. Scorched, isn't that the one they hit the hardest, are they? Um, No. Scorched are these dudes. That aren't, like, fully petrified yet. It's the dudes that have, like, the red skin with the green glowing shit coming out of them, you know? They're not ghouls, so they're not zombies, right? So they have a little bit of intelligence where they can like still kind of talk, but not really. Uh, they can also use like melee weapons or ranged, so they're not just gonna try and claw at you. They do some damage, but they're not they're not a lot now. Super mutants, those are big. 
Those guys do some damage in big groups. Those are the ones I was fighting earlier. I mean, I've been fighting Scorched, obviously, as well, but Scorched are trivial, in my opinion. Nah, see, as a melee build, I'm gonna be fighting, like, Scorched are ranged, right? And sure, they suck, but they're not, like, they don't really use crazy fast weapons, you know? Not like super mutants. So, of the two pieces I've got, I would much rather keep the current one, which is less damage from ghouls, right? Because uh, ghouls will fuck my shit up in, in a horde of them. So taking 15% less damage from a horde is kind of nice. Always the same spot. Welcome, citizen. I am authorized to trade supplies. Sounds a little noticeable. Hey, uh, Maranha, appreciate you dropping the key. Hopefully someone in chat uh, lets us know if they grab it. But yeah, uh, if you're not reading chat, folks, if you're lurking, uh, if you are interested in Fallout 76, right now obviously the game's free for like the next week, I think. But if you actually just want to keep a copy if you're on PC, uh, someone just put a link for uh, a code in uh, from the Microsoft Store version. So if you want it, there you go. Appreciate you coming and dropping the key here. Hopefully someone uses it. And hopefully I should say they let us know if they do. That way you don't have to keep putting it in other people's chats and then they already find out it's claimed, you know? So if you do use it, or if you try and it's already claimed, either way let us know chat. That's all good, I appreciate you. Hopefully someone, uh, if they want it, hopefully someone can grab it. I don't know if anybody here is, though. So I don't know. He logged off. What a bastard. Damn it, man. All right, chat. I think I deserve another hop after that. Bro, like, come on. Uh, he logged off, dude. Okay. Let's over hop. I'll give myself a couple hops to try and find somebody. Because, listen, man, that guy had meds, okay? I deserve at least one vendor that has meds. I don't know if it's going to have serums or not. But I... I mean, come on. I got robbed, okay? I got robbed. <sighs> Ugh, sorry, still waking up here. Hey. 
heads. 25. All right, cool. Only one hop needed. Beautiful. Are there other ones worth checking? Doesn't look like it. No. Conveniently. Oh, one up there. I highly doubt he's got it. I'm not going to go all the way up there. But we can go run over the hill. Pseudo, that was terrible. Don't humor him with the fucking laughing emote. How dare you? You're gonna proliferate more shitty dad jokes in this chat. There's already too many as it is, alright? They're already at critical capacity. And they don't come through often. Fuck, fuck it. God, I hate not having more soup, man. I just can't jump at all. My character just gets stuck on every little fucking thing. What? Oop. I heard you. He doesn't know where I'm at. He's confused. Look at me. Fuck. Yeah. I realize it's not how it works, but sometimes the hit detection actually lines up with like the body part you hit. So when the swing actually hits the head and the head is the part that fucking blows up like perfectly, it's like, ah, oh. it is satisfying. Is there anything worthwhile looting here? I don't even know. Okay. See, and this is... Oh, you couldn't be the first one to blow up? Damn it, man. Uh, this is why I, that armor was definitely the choice, I think. Because, uh, again, ghouls just bum rush you, man. Scorched do not. There's some stuff here. I honestly don't remember if there's anything good here. Because my problem is, like, 99% of my playtime in this particular area was in nuclear... Oh, God, excuse me. Uh, in nuclear winter, man. Like, this place was amazing for PvP. It was, like, it was either, like... If it was this circle, it was either, like, military base or this spot or bridge game bridge game is usually what i liked going for because you'd spawn like actually you actually you click right here because this is the creamery right uh you'd spawn at the creamery and like trying to get gear and because the bridge actually isn't just a side it goes from like like from here all the way to like here on the map right so you'd fight it out and if other players drop there you'd basically start you'd have to be the first one on the bridge or you'd have to get it lucky with the handful of boxes right here and get a gun or some kind of weapon to drop them right and if you didn't, it's like, you just start yelling at the team. All right, we get across the bridge, guys. We've got to get the boxes on the bridges from before them. And man, it was, uh, I miss Nuclear Winter, man. It was so much fun PvP. Like, I'm really burnt out on BRs. But that game, did, the, I don't know, man. Fallout BR, it was just fun, dude. Oh, come down, you little shithead. Come to the vats, whatever. Like, I still got in usually like a... Like, every stream, I'd usually get in a couple matches at the end, or a few matches, you know? Like, a couple hours near the end of the stream, I'd always do that. That was fun as hell, dude. It's, I don't know, man. I, it's so stupid to, like, put it away. Why, 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 man? It's so good. It was so good. Uh, anyone watch Fallen on Amazon? I'm on episode 4 at the moment. I'm not sure what I think. Uh, I loved it. I already watched it all. I couldn't have anybody spoiling that shit for me. 
Because people used to do that back in the day for Game of Thrones and shit. I'd be streaming and someone would walk in and be like, Hey, have you seen the thing with the thing and that person died? I'm like, okay, well, fuck you. So. Yeah, as a streamer, I learned early on. I gotta watch those <coughs> straight away. So I watched them Thursday night. I watched the first couple when it came out. And then I watched the rest of it yesterday. I was gonna wait, but... I couldn't do it. So. I watched it all. It was really good. Loved it. Talked about it earlier. Uh, on the stream. General impressions, obviously. I'm not gonna spoil shit, because I never do that. Uh, I'll put up a video of that later. Wait, if I remember. If I remember. Which is a big if. I'll cut up the five or six minutes, whatever it was I was talking earlier uh, about that. I'll put up on YouTube, so you can get a general impression. But yeah, as somebody who loves Fallout, the show is amazing. I, honestly, uh, I, I don't know the perspective of somebody who hasn't why am i coming up here oh the dude's camp is actually up here weird okay i guess it's not it's right there wait hold up is this is his camp literally just a, it's a campsite oh he just put his benches right here over here kind of floating which is a little weird but he's just a tent and a vendor okay simple come on serums fuck he doesn't have any Okay, no one else has any, huh? Alright, I'll give myself one more hop. Ooh, 24 meds. Nope, we're going up top. 24 meds, 5 3-star armors, 2 tier 3-star weapons? Like, this dude's gotta have stuff. He's higher level, right? He's gotta have some. What was I saying? Yeah, I don't have the perspective of having watched the show not knowing about Fallout, right? Someone in chat said, earlier said their wife watched it with them, and she was still enjoying it, so, you know. Take that as you you want, but... No, it's all good. I didn't expect everyone to be there. But yeah, I, uh, I talked about it a fair bit earlier. I loved it, man. It was great. I paused at a bunch of spots to, like, look at terminals and read shit, you know? I fucking lost my shit when certain like oh hey, that's a that's a junk jet you know or that's a 10 mil pistol from the you know from a bunch of different games you know or like i'm just uh, it was so much shit man i loved it especially since it's all canon as well and like they worked with todd and like bethesda you know it's like in the opening credits or the opening like intro sequence which they don't really have much of an intro sequence but like minor spoiler oh it zooms in on like uh the the crazy like tube television they have that's like kind of like rounded corners in the fault universe they zoom in on that and like they'd show like i don't remember something hello Give me a sec. they show off i don't remember the first logo then it's like kilter films which i'd never heard of before and then the last logo is bethesda game studios <laughs> i'm like why are they showing off bethesda in this it's like nah i worked with them enough it's like it's it's good man the only real gripe i have with the show which I thought was amazing across the board, is the same gripe I had from the trailer, and that is the power armor looks a little floaty. You can tell it's not actually like a two-ton piece of armor. Now, you can't really get that from the trailers, but they do make up for it a fair bit by having like the sound effect, you know, the heavy fucking steps, you know, the big booming fucking steps and the metal and shit. Like, they nail that enough to compensate for it, but there are a couple shots where you can tell, like, the actor wearing the fucking, you know, probably foam or plastic armor or whatever, you know, is definitely, like, moving their head a little too much, you know? Like, sure, it doesn't weigh two tons in Fallout 4 or 76 when you're carrying the pieces around. It still weighs at least a couple hundred pounds, right? So, at a minimum, it's still, like, a 15... Like, because I think each piece is like 15 or 14 pounds or some shit. It's some ludicrous amount, at least, right? Um, it still should be like a 15 pound, like, headpiece that's really heavy. So, like, there are some moments where I'm just like, okay, you're moving on a little too much for that being the two-tongue fucking mecha suit, you know? But, it's, it's still like, there are plenty of up-close shots of any kind of power armor. Um... They still do it all really well. Like, having it open up, the noises, or everything is all, like, ripped straight from the game. It's it's really good. That's, like, the only real thing is, like, again, the armor, you can tell it's not that heavy. That was it. Honestly. And it's such, like, a tiny nitpick. Like, that's all I have about it. 
it could just be because I generally speaking I like a lot of stuff not always but like generally speaking I'm, I'm you know I pref I don't if I don't like something I usually don't end up finishing it you know sometimes there's something that's like so bad I'm like okay sure but I'll usually pull the ripcord you know if I don't like a show or whatever or movie right and then on top of that I'm such a massive Fallout fan like I could be blinded by a lot of it oh Jesus Christ super mutant Like, I definitely could be just, like, liking it too much because I'm a Fallout fan. I don't know, though, dude. The uh, reviews on Rotten Tomato are still pretty high. I think I, on top of that, I checked IMDb afterwards. It was, like, an 8.7 IMDb after 11K ratings. And for IMDb, that's pretty high. Usually Rotten Tomatoes, like, the audience score will usually be higher than the average of, like, IMDb. Because more people use IMDb, I think. Uh, even though I don't, I don't you like IMDb ratings because there's no like critics versus audience. I, that's why I like Rotten Tomatoes because it tells you like. Because sometimes critics are fucking snobs and they like shit that's garbage, or vice versa. You know, sometimes the audience doesn't know what they're talking about, right? I like seeing the two different ratings. Either way, anyways, that's why I usually use Rotten Tomatoes. But even on IMDb, it was at 11k ratings earlier, and it was at fucking 8.7. I'm actually curious if it's actually gone up. Let me pull it back up again. Thirteen K ratings, still an eight point seven. It, two thousand people have rated it in the last what three hours since I talked about it. Two hours, and it, <laughs> and the rating hasn't changed. I mean, I don't know. Vault girl's great, Levner. Yeah, uh, Lucy's pretty good. Again, I'm not going to talk about spoilers, so don't worry about it. But uh, yeah, she's definitely the uh, the uh, the bright-eyed and cheerful, uh, naive vault dweller, as you would expect. It's really good. Okie dokie. That's one thing. I guess that's another nitpick I have. She's a little too friendly. A little too cheerful. She doesn't curse, okay? And the fact that she's just always like, okie dokie, it's like, listen, that's a fine phrase and I'll, like, you know, whatever. But she says it a lot in the show, okay? <laughs> and it's like. <sighs> too fun. It is cool, though, to see the transformation of all the characters and whatnot throughout it. Oh my god, what are y'all doing in there? Y'all having a fucking fuck fest or some shit? Oh my god, no, 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 Hammer the buttons, hammer the buttons. Oh my god, I got low HP, holy shit. Okay, see, that's what I was talking about earlier. By the way, super mutants are the ones you gotta worry about. Not scorched, not ghouls. Bro, they just burned me down. Okay, where are my grenades at? Y'all deserve some plasmas for that, you little shitheads. Here, have fun with that, fuckers. I missed it, didn't I? Yep, I missed. Okay, you know what? There you go. Right into the orgy tent. Okay, how did I kill all of you? There we go. Jesus. Dude, I I, I don't I think they hit me with like a bunch of staggers when I was around that side of the rock. Like I was hammering my fucking survival stim, which used to full heal you to max. And I feel like they nerfed just stims across the board because they just don't go off nearly as fast as they used to. And it's what was I saying? <laughs> if I had to pick a second gripe from the show, it'd probably be that she's a little too cheerful throughout it, you know, <laughs> but I mean, she's a vault dweller. He's had it good. It makes sense. I don't know. This show is great, man. I fucking loved it. I want more. They leave it open for a second season. They haven't, like, cut it off. I don't know if we're going to get a second season. Uh, I suspect we will. Considering, uh, again, it hasn't even been out full 48 hours yet. I suspect we're going to get a second season, though. Oh, yeah. No, we talked about that the other day. Uh, but it's probably already confirmed. There was the, um, fucking tax credit. Like, the state of California fucking whatever gave him, like, 25 million for filming in California or some shit like that for the next season. Because apparently some of it or most of it wasn't filmed here. So it was like, oh, hey, give him a giant tax credit. So I guess, like, they leaked it? I don't know. It's kind of weird for them to give a giant tax credit if they aren't, like, planning a second season, you know? They're like, hey, we might do a second season. Would you pay us for it? Give us a fat deductible? I'm like, sure. Was I hired? Did a certain character have explosive revolver in one specific scene? 
Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna talk about that. That's spoiler stuff, and I don't want. I don't. I don't want. Mm -mm. I have no idea though on weapons and whatnot. Uh, I do know there's quite a few different stuff in there I've seen that I'm like, ooh, hey. I hope I hope we get a skin of that or like that shows up in 76 or some game, you know. Uh, there's definitely a lot of that, you know. I will say, this is again spoiler free. I did see some scenes where I saw modern equipment, I'll just say in general, and I'll be like, huh. But it was alongside like Fallout equipment as well. So I was like, oh, okay. Hmm. I guess I technically canonized that style of something. Okay, that's cool. Um, but yeah, I don't know. There's a, you're going to see a lot of a certain a handful of weapons in the show. And, uh, I'm like, man, that's, I, I don't think that's been in the game yet. I want that now, you know? There's some, there's some cool shit in there. Maybe she'll change. Oh no, she, I'm sure she's changing. Trust me. Like the, there's plenty of character arc for all the characters throughout it. It's good. I liked it, man. I like the the backstory of the characters, you know. I like the. I don't know. I'm trying to. I, I want to talk more, but I'm not going to do spoilers. So, yeah, it's good though. All right, next camp up. Not this guy. I gotta start hustling because I don't want another camp to fucking disappear as I'm running to it. Like earlier. I need to get my goddamn serums. I don't have that much money. We have enough. If they sell them for 200, I could get two. If they sell them for under that, I might be able to get three. That's assuming they have the assortment of what I'm looking for, obviously. Oh, this is not good. Listen, I'm not judging if this is your style of camp, okay? I just have a feeling like most people who do this for a camp, it's either people who have low effort, like my my alt has a camp like this, but I also don't sell stuff. Or you're new to the game. I'm hoping this is a low effort character. Come on, serums. Fuck! God damn it, man. <sighs> Watch this fucking guitar strumming get hit on YouTube, whatever, I don't care. Let's see, test your medals up, that'd be fun, but no. Oh man. Wait. I, this is the same server. I ran from up here, didn't I? I think I did. I think this is the same server. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I, I checked this guy, because his camps are right below. Okay, so we're gonna give us one more hop. I'd listen, chat, okay? I need my serums, alright? I need the hit. Don't judge me. Some people are streaming now, what, Manor Lords? Really? How are they streaming Manor Lords early? That doesn't seem like a game that would have like that much early access. Do the Mothman event? No. People are streaming early, you say, huh? Well, there's nothing about on the Steam page. Oh yeah, there's a lot of people streaming it. Huh. None of them have an ad either. So they're not like doing a streaming campaign. It's, it's weird they're letting them stream it a whole like two weeks early. I'm guessing it's got to be like a sh There's a lot of people streaming it. There's a lot of people streaming it. What the fuck? How are there that many people streaming it? 
that's a lot. Huh. Weird. Yeah, I would be angry if I uh, cared about that game, but I don't. Ooh, 66 minutes. Okay, well, we're heading back down there anyway, so that's good. So what, we'll just surf the railroad tracks probably to get there? Yeah. Well, let's go around because I don't want to go through this camp. Can you order it? Classy for one. Oh, is Classy alive? I didn't see him on the list. To be fair, I just kind of browsed on the list. I didn't actually pay attention. <sighs> oh, yeah, look at that. He's playing it. Hmm, weird. Let's go up and over if I get. None of my saves worked. Most of them had mods, so I started fresh. Yeah, it makes sense. Well, you do realize, like, if you're starting a new save, like, the next gen update's still, like, two weeks away, right? And then on top of that, like, London's gonna be its whole thing. I highly doubt they're gonna be like, ah, yes, hop on this vertebrate and you'll travel to Fallout London. Like, I'm pretty sure you'll just start a character fresh over there, you know? Like, it's probably not gonna be compatible at all. Maybe you're just playing it, just playing it. That's fine. I'm just, I'm just letting you know. Like, making a character in advance for that's like, it's you're probably gonna start fresh over there. I imagine. Gotcha. Yeah, I hope uh, the frame rate increase uh, is huge for that, cause uh, that's one gripe about uh, downtown Boston and Fallout 4. Like, anytime you mod it at all, it starts to chug. And he logged off. God damn it. Mads 200. Ooh. There is meds on the course. So I think we detour now. All right. You're making too much noise, little shit. That be a lesson! What? I don't know exactly. Just don't make noise around me. Listen, chat, okay? They were like mutated and radiated, alright? They were probably living in pain. I, if anything, I was a mercy killing.
Do I have a weapon mine for Leland's build? Yeah, chainsaw. And if I can get there fast enough, Warglaive. Because Warglaive would be fun for like the stealth part, and then once everything's off, like everyone knows I'm there, then I'll just use a chainsaw. But the Warglaive's like 2,000 gold bullion, so it's kind of a pain in the ass. I don't think I can get there in the next four days. Like, I have to level up a fair bit and burn through the Wastelander quest line. Which I guess I could do the Wastelander quest line early, because I'm not really saving up for melee right now. Because normally, uh, because uh, I'm saving up for melee. Normally, uh, I, st I wait on doing the Wastelander quest line until I'm level 30. That way I can get, uh, one of the rewards, uh, lets you get an anti armor marksman rifle. And I usually get a. I usually get that so it's level 30, right? So that way, it's instead of it being level 10 or level 20, depending on what level I am, it levels up with you to the increments, right? So I usually get it once I'm level at least level 30, so it's a, a slightly better version. But now that I'm stuck with melee, I don't think it actually matters, so... It wouldn't be a terrible idea to potentially get through that quest line now to start earning gold. Because I think I'm going to start earning treasury notes from doing public events and shit if I start doing a bunch of those. But, uh... Getting that much gold, like, even if I take all the gold for, for myself, that's only 500, or it's only 1,000. And then I can buy if I get a ton of money in that time, which I don't know if I'll get enough. I think I could buy... 600 or 300, I don't remember. I think it's 600. So that's 1,600 out of the 2k I need. And then I have 250 something, or 230 something, right? It's only 1,800. I have to grind out the next couple hundred, which is doable, but I gotta get events. And getting events is not easy on a perma character because they have to basically pop up on within the area, right? So. Realistically, I think getting a Warglaive is off the table. I think it'd be cool. Just don't think it's gonna happen. God damn it! Back here. So chainsaw is very easy to get, though. Luckily. Okay, he's technically underground. Oh, I was say he's technically underground. No, he's just glitched out. All right, cool. Oh, I guess I technically could make an auto axe right now if I really want to as well, but the auto axe is not nearly as good as the chainsaw, in my opinion. Plus, getting the chainsaw mods, I think I have to, like, I think I have to do a bunch of, like, expeditions to get the stamps for those. I don't remember. I only ever bothered, I think, getting the base level auto axe when, the, when, it, uh, when it came out, and that was pretty much it. I didn't really go from there, but it's an account-wide unlock, so I could craft on this character. I think level 20 is what's required for it. I just don't think it's that great, so getting a chainsaw is pretty easy. It's just about getting lucky and getting a, uh, if I could find a dual bar mod, that'd be good. The biggest thing is finding the, uh, the flamer mod, because the flamer mods add so much damage. The dual bar adds a little bit of damage. The flamer one is just far and away so much better, though, so... Even the base little crappy version is still pretty solid for my level. That said, the sledge is okay, you know? The sledge is an instigating one. So I am out leveling it already. It's only level 10 and I'm probably 18, yeah. Uh, it'll, it'll still hold us for a little bit, you know? But I've done a melee build before and I went chainsaw and it, was, it works out. It works out.
Oh my god, he logged off, dude. And that guy was logged off too. So many motherfuckers are just like killing my dreams of finding any serums today. Uh, I've wasted so much time right now just running around. Honestly, the dude who told me to go, uh... Do the fucking Mothman one? It would have been better to use my time than running around like I have been. Now I'm way too far to get there now. Wish listed, wish, wish listed by two million people is gonna be rich. Is uh, Mandalords a one dude game? I mean, wish lists don't translate into 100% sales. They don't even translate to like 50% sales. I feel like that number has been published by developers a couple times, like wish lists to buys, and it's it's far lower. Still, even if it's only 10%, that's 200,000 sales, which is huge. Even if it's only 5%, 100,000 sales. That's still huge. Because the game is probably going to be at least 30 bucks, right? 100,000 times 30 bucks, that's 3 mil. You know? Steam's cut is 30%. Okay. So you still get 70% of 3 mil. That's pretty good. Apparently, but he's hired some people. Okay, so it's not quite. They probably don't get profit sharing, though. He probably paid them as is. It's a small developer. Maybe not, I don't know. That's cool though. Oh, there's a cultist here. Don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. Ow, Jesus, like those guys hurt, man. They hurt a lot. What do we get? Aristocrats, something that's a weapon, right? No? Oh, I guess it's armor. Grants energy resistance caps. Currently nothing. Currently less than one. Well, I mean it's a good armor. It's a good right leg, so I guess we could just wear it in general. I mean, that one. Way better. Um, honestly, we got the legendary. I don't really care about killing the rest. Let's keep moving. I got some questing to do, you know? You know what? Maybe we do clue this place out. We got a sub quest here, anyways, right? That's well. Ooh, that's hurting. Could you please stop? Oh! 
Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, boy. How many big stims we got? Well, I got two left. Yeah, I popped a little too many right there. We're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Jesus. Fucker's still alive, huh? Holy mud, man! No, 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 no. I'm trapped. I'm actually trapped. Oh, this is not good. Uh, I think I have to log out. I don't think it's actually letting me out. I'm trying to walk out. It's not letting me out of here. Okay, we have to fast travel. We can't, actually, we can't even fast travel. We're in combat. I think I have to just log out. Come on. Five, four, three... Okay, Jesus, it wouldn't let me out, dude. I got stuck. How is there a spot in the game I can get stuck in? I've played this game for years, and I've got, like, almost gotten stuck in a bunch of places, but I can always get out. That's weird. I didn't actually know any spots like that existed. Huh. Relog? No, I didn't need to relog. We fast travel, we're good. That was the plan if I couldn't log out in time. Because the thing is, you usually can't fast travel if you're in combat. That's why the timer was. But if I had if they had done any damage to me, it would have kept uh it would have restarted the timer or just not let me log out at all. Uh, at least let, let me fast travel, I should say. I could always log out, but logging out also loses me the server. Those nades not get you. Oh, my God, he's hitting the fucking crit swing. <laughs> You really get both of them with that? Holy shit, we got them. Oh, I still hear movement, I think, actually. Maybe I don't? We actually did clear them all out. Oh boy. Yeah, I got a little hairy there for a second. We're fine, though.
Yeah, to the guy who I said uh, six ads in a row, sorry. That's that's just how it is. That's life, homie. If I had a ton of subs so I didn't have to run ads, I would do it. As it is, ads are like 80% of my revenue, probably. Maybe not quite, it's like 70. It's a lot. It's, it's, it's a lot. So, yeah, you know, is what it is. Uh, he's, you know, realistically, if they're complaining about ads, he's probably not even here anymore. But it is. I don't like doing it, but that's the state of where we at. But hey, appreciate everyone who's been hanging out today, whether you're lurking or chatting. Hope you all had a good week. Ugh, workshop. Get that shit out of here. Playing your 360? Like Xbox 360? Bro, what do you play on your 360? Not that I'm hating, obviously. I, I've owned one. I actually own two. I used to. Well, I technically own two. One of them, it, it basically, it's it doesn't function. I had to red, keep red ringing it, or it, it was red ringed, so I had to keep towel tricking it to work, so eventually I had to spot a new one when I moved for college. So, you know. But I mean, so I'm not hating on 360. I'm just wondering, like, what the fuck are you playing? But like, it just get on the Genesis from time to time. Yeah, but like, what are you playing? I'm curious. I'm not, I'm not hating on you for retro gaming. As, as God, saying retro gaming for 360, that's that's annoying. <sighs> Anyways, <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, I feel old now. Uh, you know, I'm wondering what specifically you're playing. Bad Company 2? Oh, Bad Company 2 is the shit, dude. I love that, man. The servers are probably long down for all original Xbox Live, probably, but that shit was so much fun. I mean, the campaign was probably pretty solid, too. I don't remember much of it. I remember the Bad Company 1 campaign was great. I don't know if I still have those. I sold off a bunch of 360 copy 60 games when I, uh... Quit playing on that shit a long time ago, you know? I sold a bunch of it off, probably, uh, Oh, you know what, what it did was, I think it's when I bought my PS3, I think? I took a bunch of older games I wasn't playing and I fucking tossed them. I definitely kept a lot of classics. I don't know what I kept or what I didn't. I have to go dig in a fucking drawer somewhere. I definitely sold off a bunch of crap ones, which, in hindsight, not, I, you know, I'm not happy with that decision, but, uh, at the time, hey, that, uh, GameStop credit, baby. <laughs> a broke college student, dude, you gotta fucking scrape it together. Now I'm just a broke streamer trying to scrape it together. Uh... They said on the Wii U? Yep. Yep, I did hear that. I did hear that. 
why there was like a there was a project to like beat all the levels of Mario Maker. And I feel like they finished the last level as well recently, which was a level that the guy who created it um, admitted he glitched it to get it to work. Which is usually would discount it and someone still beat it. I think they did it on stream as well. I think they're on Twitch. But yeah, I saw that and I was like, damn. Okay. Yeah, I watched uh, the end of it, and like, uh, the dude had to get like supposedly like frame perfect fucking jumps and shit to otherwise get it going. It's like, whoa, what the fuck? Nah, fuck all that shit, dude. Honestly though, the games on the 360 look like what the games uh, on the original Xbox looked like the 360 was new. Yep. The graphics jumps is crazy, man. As a person who owned the launch version of both the 360, I say launch, but like holiday launch, obviously. So it was a few months later, maybe at max. Uh, but yeah, I owned, uh, fuck, I missed it. I should have gone to the other room first. Uh, I owned original Xbox and uh, 360 as well from the launches, man. And yeah, no, the graphics jump was nuts because uh, I think my, when I got a 360, uh, the only game I got with it was Perfect Dark Zero, but that was amazing because it actually had a bot mode, right? Because not every game was online only at the time, you know? So, uh, the campaign was alright. I don't remember much of it. But, uh, man, that game looks so much better. So much better than the original fucking Xbox. It was ridiculous, dude. Now I'm sure Perfect Dark Zero looks ugly as shit, but. Fallout 76 on Pime? You mean Prime? Yeah, it's free. I'm gonna use my copy to fucking be a mule account for my perma character so I can transfer shit as needed, you know, as far as like uh, plans and whatnot once I'm done. That way, if I ever have any clothing, whatever I want to transfer over, I'll be like, yeah, there you go. Easy. Peasy. Even squeezy. Oh, the graphics can get hyper real, man. The thing is, what's always going to be, like, they can always get more and more real, so it'll essentially feel like fucking reality, right? It can just keep getting closer and closer and closer. The one thing that has to get better, which is also not good if it gets too close, is uh, character likeness. Because there's something called the Uncanny Valley, where as artificial characters get better and better looking, they start approaching this thing called the Uncanny Valley, and at this point, like, traversing it, it's kind of a pain in the ass, because otherwise you get NPCs or characters that look fucking just off and wrong. Even though if they look, like, crazy lifelike, something is just gonna look off, you know? So... While graphics can definitely keep improving it over and over over the next decades, like humans, are, human characters are gonna always be weird for some degrees. You know, they get over a lot of that with animations for sure. Animations help a ton uh, because they've been doing like mocap, where like they put like the facial rig, you know, with, like a helmet on the uh, actors, and then they have them just do that instead of just voice acting. They actually have them do like performance acting, you know. And even if they're not doing like full body acting, just getting the mouse movement, mouth movements like synced up is huge already. But yeah, if you're curious about that, look up Uncanny Valley. Like, you're gonna see some weird shit. That's why, uh, if you're ever wondering, <laughs> about some games you look at stuff and you're like what the fuck is this shit man 
and it's like you like you can't really tell what it is yeah it's it's because it's because that we're to the point where some User games detected. have graphics where it's Connecting. like huh User connection detected Mother load zero three recording. User. System zero zero three request. Assistance. Fuel levels. Critical. Home. Critical. This mother load requires repair beacon. Yeah, I don't User. really think like Halo or Gear Recover. Style Recover. are gonna be considered genres. We already have that. Recover. Where Gear Style is Recover. cover based shooter. Halo style is just a first person shooter. As much as Halo innovated the controller with the dual stick, because previously it was like, your mouse just did like left and right. It didn't do like up and down or shit, you know? Or you played with like both hands on the keyboard, like on arrow keys as well as like Q, E or whatever the fuck it is, you know? Like, making it so you could move and look independently, that's what Halo did. It was like a giant leap forward for FPS gaming, but it doesn't have its own style so much beyond that, right? So you can be like, oh, 16-bit or, you know, 8-bit stuff, but that's a that's like an art style, you know? It's just, it, which people have mostly pulled away from, they call it like pixel graphics, you know? Requisition code accepted. Issuing repair beacon. But yeah, I don't... Cover-based shooters have been a thing for a long time, so... Gears didn't get the name for that. And beacon Halo's not gonna really get a name either, because it... Halo just revolutionized shooters Proceed. in general. Down. Deploy. Beacon. Proceed. Beacon activated. One month to fall first is a half price right now too. Tempted to grab that one soft. Really? Six forty nine for a month and thirteen bucks a month. That's not bad. I don't really have any need for fall first though. So like there might be some outfits that I'm like hell yeah, but like uh, I don't think I have any real use for it. I'm only level forty two at scoreboard, a bit too early for Fallout First now to be honest. What grab it? You mean near the end so you can grab a bunch of shit? Yeah, it makes sense. I mean the biggest thing is honestly like I'm a, probably about there as well. 41, right? Yeah. Just make sure you're always doing your dailies, you know? Always doing your dailies and doing... Weeklies are very easy to hammer out in like an hour. You know, two tops, right? But, but just like, yeah, okay. But the thing is, uh, it's just doing at least three of your dailies so you can get this part as well. That's actually 1,500. That's basically a whole, like, daily and a half, or weekly and a half single one, you know? Ends in 25 days, xbox.com. Hey, there you go. Broke those down. I should have been selling those. Oh well. Repair system engaged. Mother load status nominal. Repeat status nominal. Initiating breach procedure. Oh, User stand clear. User presence detected. Priority materials deposited in docking station. Motherload 003 complete, user. Motherload complete. Motherload remember. Alright, let's 
let's get out of here. Uh, I don't know verbally how to convert the level of art style, like 16 versus 3D res uh, would be. So not the genre, the art capabilities, like 16 bit was the capability of SNES. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, you're so you're talking about like when uh, indie games are like the quality of Halo. Oh, they've already passed that ages ago, man. You kidding me? There's been like one like indie games that are like Doom-like shooters, and they're calling that genre now boomer shooters, which is. It's funny. Uh, yeah, indie games have passed, surpassed Halo graphics a long time ago. Like, original Halo looks like trash now. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, it was cool, but yeah, it passed that a long time ago. Uh, I think some indie games have even passed up uh, 360 games. Like, the thing is, the advent of, like, ease of access or just, like, how cheap or free a lot of the current game engines are means getting uh, graphics quality up isn't that hard you know it just turns into the modeling prowess and even the modeling prowess doesn't have to be amazing it's about texture work you know um, and honestly people could probably start using AI to get those up decently as well so I think indie games are gonna just like start soaring pretty fast you know, to catch up, right? So it's it's really yeah, it's not gonna be that hard. Oh hello, I see some. Oh no, it's a floater. Never mind. Yeah, it's it's not gonna be that hard for them to catch up really at all, in my opinion. Yeah, and on top of that, there's the marketplace as well, so you can buy assets as well, or you can just use free asset packs, and then people will shit on it for using those. But you know, yeah. Hey, Frag Boy, appreciate that fresh sub. Uh, thank you. Glad you're enjoying whatever it is I'm doing. Oh, I hear another one. He just jump off. He totally did. Listen up, all Blood Eagles out there are invited to a show. We captured Beckett. If you want to see Blood. Roast a pig, and come on down to Poseidon. Bring your friends! If they ain't blood eagles, they'll get shredded too! Okay, so we're gonna try and run up to this guy's camp for some meds. On the way, though, we're going to stop off at Blackwater Mining and get our daily mole miners out of the way. Because we probably only need like eight more. And we should be able to get them either outside or and or inside as well. So it shouldn't be that hard. Yeah, for like a lot of the problems AI stuff is going to cause over the next decade, uh, there is some usefulness to it. Because like obviously AI stuff isn't going to replace like handmade textures a lot of the time, you know? Texture artists are still going to be fucking doing it. But if suddenly, you know, a one-man outfit, you know, a game dev who just knows his coding, you know, if they can use AI and suddenly they can just have like some decent textures imported it's like hey you know then it just works about modeling and modeling don't get me wrong high high poly models are needed for sure but those do add up as far as game file size whereas properly optimized and like good looking textures go a long way you know like if you were to strip some textures from some high like some good looking items in this game like, you'd be like, oh shit, really? That's actually just, that's, <laughs> there's not many sides to that tree as I thought there was, you know? And a lot of it comes down to just texture work, you know? Like, you'd be surprised how much textures do. Santa? <laughs> I was like, is that, <laughs> I think that's just a bug where, like, it's spawning up there for some reason. 
I thought that was like someone made like a player camp and they made like what amounts to like a Santa sleigh and a bunch of like reindeer or some shit like that, you know? I'm like, what the fuck? Nope. That's just a truck and some bushes floating in the air because, uh, magnets. How they work, I don't know. They're fucking crazy. No point in stopping for these guys. I'm not seeing a legendary here. There's a legendary I'd stop, but nope. Continuing onwards. I don't know if you'll be able to find the, buy the Fallout show on Blu-ray. Uh, good question. I imagine they'll probably do that eventually. Oh, dude goes with a cloak? What the fuck? Why does he have cloak? Still there. That's good. That's what we want. <sighs> you killed Sand on the job, yours. Wait, all I did was look at the area. I didn't kill him. I'm not Tim Allen. Get that shit out of here. Do I get paid if I'm Santa? I'll do it in that case. Work fucking one night a year, bro? The rest of the time I just get to chill up in the fucking North Pole, where it's nice and cold, not too hot anymore. I'll take it. Do I get Mrs. Claus or do I have to like find a Does that be kind of weird if she came with it? But at the same time, like, you know, is that, like, a prerequisite? Like, I can't be Santa until there is a Mrs. Claus? Because then it's, like, I mean, you know. What's the dealio there, you know? Also, because I'm the next Santa now, like, I'm not telling Tim Allen, am I? I mean, have I, like, been caught going through customs with, like, a bunch of cocaine? <laughs> I found that one out, like, within the last couple of years, I think. Uh, there's some fucking mug shots of Tim Allen when he's young. Apparently he was a fucking coke smuggler. <laughs> it's like, wait, what? Yeah. Yeah, the dude who played Tim the Tool Man, or, or fucking Santa, or a bunch of other stuff. Yeah, apparently, uh, <laughs> apparently that's the thing. I was pretty shocked I saw that. Not that shocked, though. He always had a lot of energy. Or has? I don't know. I think he's still alive. I don't know.
Yeah, it was, no, it was, I'm pretty sure it was like, yeah, it was like a key at least or some shit. I don't know, it was a, it was a big fucking amount. Not a small amount. Like, yeah. That's why I said I'm pretty sure he got caught with smuggling. I don't think I was caught with like a little bit of coke, you know? Like a smuggling charge. Ooh, uranium fever. Look at that chat. The timing. Impeccable. Uh oh, I'm gonna die in this one probably. I just realized like for how many dudes rush there, like I really hope somebody else shows up because I'm not gonna be able to do that solo. Melee versus a bunch of level 40s? Ooh, no, 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 no. Hope somebody else shows up. I hope somebody else shows up. Might not be able to do it. The legendaries would be huge on this character and the XP. I might, I could cram out a ton of throwing knives, actually, maybe. We might be able to cheese our way through it. How many grenades do we have? Probably not nearly enough. Five? Yeah, it's not enough. We might be able to spam a ton of, uh, whatchamacallit though. Throwing knives. Hopefully other people show up. I'll just, I'll just say that. No one else is here yet. Eesh. put trees up there that's really weird may I be of assistance we are the proletariat our work is never we finished are the proletariat our work is the never capitalist that can be trusted is a dare. Capitalist, capitalist that can be trusted is a dare. Capitalist. At your service, ma'am. Bro selling bobby pins for 2,000 a pop. Okay, dude. Scanning floor counter. Revolutionary. Revolutionary. That's, uh, it's quite the choice. Half a key in 1978. Oof. Not dead. No. Well, we can head in and give it a try. I hope we don't die from this shit. Oh, we gotta make fucking... I hope this is a weapon bench here. Yes, there is. Throwing knives. For days. Could make an auto axe, actually. You can just make an auto axe. That'll work, actually. I don't know how well this will do. We'll give it a try, chat. Hoping someone else shows up. Please stop and approach for. Thoughts on Outlaws info drop this week? We don't really know much. Only employees of. We got a story Black trailer, which was cool, I guess, but the, it's not dropping equipment. anytime soon, man. It's not coming out Scanning. until the, like the end of August, Visual which is basically error. September, which is so far away for me as a streamer. I don't even know if I'll be streaming at that point. <laughs> So it's hard to be excited audio. for that. Like, I can only really focus on stuff that's in, like, the next month, two tops. How do you get the auto axe? Uh, you can earn it with stamps from doing expeditions. 
I got this a long time ago. I guess when I learned it on my main character, it's just an account wide unlock. So here we go. We got it. And it's not even that great, as you can see. Oh, those are level 35s. That, no wonder. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah, that is a 35, that's a 25. Okay. Anyone else coming? There's one person outside, but they're not showing up. Is the server getting empty? No, there's still a lot of people. They're just probably a bunch of low levels now. Both on every character now? No, it's been that way from the get-go. It's a recipe that you unlock, though. But back in the day, it was cheaper to unlock it. Um, but yeah, yeah, I did grinding for like a few days, whatever. And, uh, because you get sk stamps, which is a currency whenever you complete a, uh, expedition run, right? So, that's what I did, is I just did the expeditions to get it. Oh, good, someone's just here. I'm hoping people show up. Back in the day, it was 500. It's probably still 500. I'm pretty sure it was way cheaper when I got it. That's what I'm saying. But the thing is, you can only get... You can only do expeditions, like, once a day. I'm pretty sure. I think you do them both once a day, and that was it. And then you didn't get stamps until the next day, right? That's why it was much cheaper, I'm pretty sure. Now I'm pretty sure it's still 500. But you can just keep grinding expeditions over and over and over and over and over until you get it. Right? So all you have to do is get a crew that wants to grind, and you can get it. Oh shit, we gotta start now. Extraction process initiated. Ooh. Keep away. From extraction units while operational. Okay, well here goes chat. These guys are gonna be like level 40 probably, so this is gonna be rough. Hostile trespassers detected. Employees are encouraged to remove trespassers before damage to extractor units occurs. Oh my god, he's so fucking much HP, dude. I need a zero. Oh, he's blocking? Okay, that's some bullshit. Bro is blocking damage. What is this shit? And I'm out. Cool. Love it. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm gonna die in this. I am going to die in this. There's no way I can make it through this. Bro, there's no way. Oh my god, I'm nearly dead already. Level 45, dude! Fucking, what is his swings, man? The problem is using the auto axe fucking drains my stamina like no other. So I can't like really use it non-stop, you know? Yeah, this thing kinda sucks. Without mods, like it's not good. Chainsaw's way better, because I can mod that up really easily. Fucking Christ dude, their damage is so nice. Blocking bullshit, dude. Stop blocking. Go for a swing. He's just blocking, not stop. There you go. Jesus. Oh my god, there's 
some more out here. I can hear him coming. Level scaling is horseshit, dude. Just spamming through these things like a fucking candy, dude. Oh, hey, there's a mole miner boss. Good. We got one of them. Yeah, I'm gonna go fucking hang out up here real quick while you do your thing. I'm going this way to at least get one of these things going. So we can try and get some more coming. Okay, one tapped him, that's good. Dude. Oh, thank God someone else showed up. I hear Tesla. Yes. There's so many high levels, dude. Oh, thank God. They tapped that one. Charlie's the other one. They leave? Okay, they're just running out there. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. As long as you're still helping, please. Adequate uranium volume extracted and processed. Output quantity increased. Oh, they're probably repairing some shit, looks like, right now. Maybe some grenades equipped right now. Bro, I am gonna be running through so many stems on this fucking one. Out <sighs> of steel, I can't fucking grab it anymore. 
With a power swing, I can almost one shot the 35, so that's not bad at all. Extraction hey, it's over. Complete. Oh boy. I'm gonna get a lot of fucking glowing meat out of this so I can cook it all up for good shit for tomorrow. Ooh, man, I got fucking just a bunch of trash in here. Wasted so much steel. I mean, sure, I crafted a bunch as well, but goddamn. Pain in my ass. Ugh. Hopefully that guy's still there. That's good. Hopefully he's got the fucking shit we need. Honestly, we should probably sell off most of that fucking gear. Yeah, we should sell off most of that shit. Because we need, uh... Need money for stims. Or for serums. Let's go sell all this trash outside. Yeah, the auto act sucks without uh, mods. <laughs> it really does. It's not good. World of Warcraft VR mod released. What the fuck? Ten years in, in the making. Uh, Street Rat and Marlu have or Mar, Mar, Marulu have been hard at work bringing World of Warcraft to six degrees of freedom VR with motion controls. Initially it's available now. What the fuck? Okay, I might actually have to play WoW now. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? So I follow this Twitter account called Flat to VR, where it's like. Flat games are just traditional games, uh, Xbox or PC, whatever. It's meant on you know, a monitor, hence flat, right? Uh, so they, like, I think they made a studio recently, but up until now, uh, they just basically, like, you know, repost projects and, like, you know, potentially work on some of them where it's, like, you know, games that are normally not VR games made into VR, you know? But, uh, yeah, they made a mod for it. It's kind of crazy. It's a little weird, I'm not gonna lie. I'm looking at the footage like they put it on Twitter. It's uh it's something. I don't know how you feel about it. Huh. Huh. That's uh that's certainly something. At your service, sir. Because it's busted. Okay, fine. Gonna use that. Busted, busted. Can't trade those. Fine, whatever. Serve and protect. Sense to me, the Automax is slightly stronger for the modded, but it's not much on the ease of access. Yeah, um, the thing is, you gotta grind, I'm pretty sure, for a lot of the extra parts. And on top of that, as well, like it might be ever so slightly better than Chainsaw, it's just a, a more annoying to use because it takes up more your screen. Like, I'm pretty sure they both make a bunch of noise. Yeah, like, this thing just makes noise just having it out. Makes the same noise when using it, but like it just covers up so much of your screen, which I'm just like not a fan of, you know? Hmm. Did I actually sell off on the other things? I may have. At your service, sir. Yes, I didn't. I thought I did. 
Did I not grab one of the pieces in there? Hmm. Well, I guess I sold off the armor, huh? The Wolf Slayer shit. I thought I got everything in there, but... Yeah, whatever. Alright. Let's go get up to this vendor. Haul ass up the road. Hopefully he's still there. Cause I need to check it. Third person running melee? Yeah, I mean, third person ain't bad if you're running melee. It's definitely something I used to do occasionally. I just haven't done it yet, you know? I might do a lot more once I actually have my chainsaw. Right now, it's like, eh, I prefer first person in general for immersion's sake, but occasionally it does pop in. Yeah, kind of weird they uh, put WoW in VR, though. Hmm. What's your PC specs? Uh, PC specs, and what settings are you playing on? The game never hits above 70. Um, you can see my specs if you're curious on Twitch, because I sp primarily stream on Twitch. Uh, the quick and dirty is uh, 3060 Ti. That's my graphics card, and I'm on a 2700 KF. There you go. Um, graphics settings. I mean, I ha I don't know all of them. I can show you the menu in a second, but it's not gonna be as useful, because I do remember tweaking some stuff back in the day. Uh, on the I and I tweaks, for I don't remember exactly what I did because it was a very long time ago. The game's been out like five and a half years at this point, you know. Um, but I mean, I can show you my settings if you want to, you know, remember this or timestamp the video or whatever. But uh, okay, give me a second. I'm a little preoccupied because these little shits. Uh, yeah, ultra, high, high, ultra, medium. I should probably crank that back up, honestly, because I don't think it matters these, any of these days. Uh, there you go. Wait, that wasn't hounds? Yeah, those are hounds. Those are mutant hounds. What are you talking about? Uh, no, glowing meat's what we need. We need, uh, mutton chops, which is the sheep squatch. Sheep Squatch gives us some, but also so does glo the glowing meat steaks. But we have a fair amount of glowing meat after that, I would imagine. We only got five, I guess. A lot of went bad from earlier. I should have cooked it up. Yeah, like I said, I don't know uh, if those settings are exactly going to help you out, you know? But my frame rate's pretty good in game for the most part. Do you remember the I9 tweaks? Nope. Oh, do you remember if they did anything? I mean, yeah, back in the day, but the game also ran like shit. Like, I, I, the only, I only did I and I tweaks when, like, it was full launched. And when it full launched, I had a 980 Ti. And then eventually that melted down and a homie sent me his old 1080, so I used that. Which is essentially the same specs as a 980 Ti. Maybe slightly better for some games, if that. And then eventually I moved to 3060 Ti couple years ago. A year and a half ago? I don't know. Anyways. So, yeah, it used to run like crap, but I was also on a fucking super old card that was from before the game came out, so... Yeah. I have no idea if the INI tweaks actually did anything. Back in the day, they probably did, but that was probably because, you know, they did stuff for a shitty card. The game's definitely been optimized a fair bit since then. It's not optimized across the board. No, no, not, not, no, no shot. Like, it's, what? What? nah. Hours. But, 
It is better. If he saw the state of your camp. Oh man, he's just selling fucking magazines. What a bastard. Alright, whatever. Alright, folks. That's enough for me for today. I'm fucking exhausted and I'm starving. So, y'all have a good one. Thank y'all for chilling with me. Appreciate you hanging out as usual. I'll be back uh, tomorrow uh, with more, most likely. But, uh, yeah, I'm out of here. So, you have a good one. Enjoy uh, your Friday. Hope the rest of your week wraps up decently. And, uh, yeah, same time tomorrow for more. Karma Death Shenanigans uh, is uh, underway with the uh, melee character, so should be a good time. But until then, you have a good one, folks. Good night.